coach on the Legion. What up, this is George Bell here on the Belize and the Bell Show. Make sure you check us out on the Woodward Sports Network. Thursday morning here on Woodward Sports. Joyk Bell, Terry Foster. I'm back Sean again. Legion. Hi. How you guys doing? We're doing all right, man. Are, are we allowed to talk about our promo yet? Because, like, I'm all excited now. Yeah, we, let's talk about it. Are we, let's are, talk no, about it. really, are we allowed to talk about it? And the cool thing is, Terry's going to be in for half of it. The other half he wants nothing to do with, Why but not? Terry's going to be in for half of it. Terry I shouldn't be in there because I'm I'm just a visitor, man. Terry, it's, it's your, it's your you are not brother. a visitor, Terry. It, it, don't you, you dare here. to. You are part of the family, and gosh darn it, I want to eat smoked meat with you. Well, I know, but just promotions are pretty big. <laughs> I can't be Look part of this. <laughs> this is Joyce getting zen. Okay, so seriously, check this out. This is this is something we've been talking about. Hard it, pass. And you'll you'll get news on this <laughs> and how you can become a part of it. But we were. Oh no, no, we can't talk about that. We can't talk. I about thought it? you were talking about the promo video, like the video that you guys did. You could discuss that, but no, absolutely not. No. I come in, I, I I come into work. <laughs> so they crazy. asked me to do a promo video, which I tell them, give me a day, give me a day's notice. You know, it's a, some days I like to dress a certain type of way for the promo videos, and they told me okay. So I come in this morning. They say, well, we need another promo video, five minutes before the show. No, that's my not hands what... are tied. My hands are tied. It, it was about nine minutes before I'm sorry, the show. My hands are tied. Art, for real. Come on, seriously. Hey, Art, Art, no, you that's wanna... not what happened at Art, all. Alex wanna... walked in at about ten fifty one. Yes. I under I'm not going against the show right now, but here, Alex was coming in like, hey, I have this promo video. Joyke said, I like it, and tell Stick and Adam if they don't like it, they can kick rocks. And I said, <laughs> Joyke, you can't talk like that. He said, Do you know who the fuck I am? And I said, I do. Please stop yelling at me. No, the video was sent. I thought the video was great. I thought it was great. Enjoy. Welcome to the media. The media does not communicate. No, no. Welcome. <laughs> no, 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 no. Welcome <laughs> to the media because the media lies. Oh, my God. The media gosh. lies. No, no, no Terry, we don't uh, lie. We just get bad information. Terry, let me ask you a question. Yes. Was that bad information that Art just gave was, or was that a lie? It was a, uh, let's say he was massaging the truth. Blissful Terry. <laughs> <laughs> massaging the tax numbers. <laughs> Mass- <laughs> I'm going to call my man a, a liar. He was massaging the truth. <laughs> he was massaging. Hey, don't be mean to Art. <laughs> That's right, Fish. Tell him. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Go ahead, Fish. You can't say nothing to Fish. Oh, that, that's all right, I had. Don't be mean to Art. Okay. We won't be mean to Art. All right. So I will tease our, our other promotion that we're not allowed to talk about. <laughs> uh, so can I tease it? I you don't can know. Tease. You no, tease no, it by why, saying why it's Why do you want to make everybody mad? We're going to tease do you, it. Do, no, do you trust me? Do you guys, do you guys like football? <sighs> do you want to hear Do you guys love barbecue? Well, stay tuned. How does that sound? Ooh. That's why I just have to tread lightly. You can spend the day with Joyke no, and I stop, no. and half the day with Terry. That's it. Today. But nobody knows what we're doing. No You're the knows. person that it's like, hey, it's my birthday, but don't tell anyone. Sean's like, happy birthday. No. Mm-mm. No. No, no, no. That's Terry is either all in or all out. Oh, there's, okay. no, oh, there's no oh, half oh. the game. So you're here I'm, the whole day. So I, I'm either doing the shit or I'm not doing it. So you're doing, you're doing the whole show today then? No, no, not today. No, <laughs> no. I would, but I was, I was not communicated to to do the whole show. No, Terry, no, no, no. I, seriously, Terry, that you, you know the idea. We're not going to say anything else. Art, don't worry. Yeah, heck yeah, it'd be great to, to do it okay, all day. I have a lunch date though today. Yeah, right. No, I'm not talking. Is that about what today. Karen? I'm talking about? Oh, is, oh that, is that, I can do it next thing. week. Is that oh, what the other thing with yeah. Christina? No, that you thing. tell me about. Okay. <laughs> no man. Yeah, I just tried to get me in trouble, man. I'm just trying to stay tuned. All right, this, this is going to be something fun, and and uh, Terry's going to be okay. a part of it now, and that mm-hmm. makes me happy, and that's great. Yes, fish. What's up, fish? Terry, does Dr. Fauci finally? Are you able to tell her you come here now? Or you got to wait till like May of 2027 to tell her you come uh, here. You know, if when she finds out, I'll tell her. She's, Dr. Fauci still don't know. She don't know you come here still. No. 
I, 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 I thought she said two like weeks that. after the vaccination. <laughs> huh? Didn't she say two weeks after the... It's been like yeah. 10. Yeah, it's, it's been a month, but now she's coming up with different stuff that... She doesn't want you to do oh. stuff. There we go. No, no. She said, you know, because there was a surge in yeah. Michigan and all this kind of crap. But she's giving me permission to fly. Oh. What? Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. So you can't stay here and get COVID, <laughs> but you can fly somewhere else and get it and bring it back. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay. I, I never said she was rap tight. I'm just saying what my <laughs> rules are. <laughs> but, Troy, the planes are really safe. They say they're like really, really safe. But and what I'm saying is you get on a plane and then you're going somewhere. Yeah. Now where he's going, is it safe there too? Cause he doesn't have to get on the plane. Well, Dr. Fauci's probably gonna the nail that. No, then, you, but, but on planes, they're thumping now. They're fighting on planes. They are. So the danger on planes is not COVID. It's, it's yeah, like, getting okay, your I might get my ass kicked. <laughs> no, you got hands, Terry. I'm just saying, what was, that, what, what was that boxing match you, um, you had when you- Rob not, Parker. When I beat his ass. Tell me again. again. When again. I beat Rob Parker's ass. That's that gorilla. <laughs> we need to, that's that gorilla talk. That's damn did you, right. Did you do the John L. Sullivan? No, no, that's were, you. Were you, were you that's a fighter you. from the 1910s? No, that's you, Put man. Put them up. <laughs> Put them up. Motherfucker, I will beat your ass. <laughs> Put them up. It's time to no, no, get no. paid. No, no, it's, it's like, I will thrash you thoroughly. <laughs> thrash you thoroughly. <laughs> thoroughly. Do not mess with me. So yeah. did you Did you guys... Massage his face. Did you guys hear this thing about Bill Gates that came out? Yeah, I saw oh, yeah, it. And it was funny because we were in a group text, right? I, I mean, which one? Him divorcing his wife, him going on a trip with his, with his ex the, the when he's married. The X thing, man. We, what X, the hell? There, there's just that's what money does. That's for what you. money right? does. You know, that's the thing. You get money, you can, you think you can do whatever you want to do. That's what it is. In case there's you no way it. that's flying with. Did his wife go like along with him, or like was she just? You two <laughs> hey. go ahead. In case you missed it, Bill like, Gates had a deal with his soon-to-be ex that he would marry her if he was allowed to take one beach vacation a year with his ex so he had a okay. once a year hall pass okay yeah with yeah. his ex yeah hey did she agree to it did yeah. she agree to it she, she, I she agree to it. they got married Apparently yeah got married the, i mean the, what, i mean the, what do you do what do you do that that i mean if that's what he wants to do when he told her listen this is what i want to do we can do this and it's cool and she says yes then they're making it seem as if he was doing this behind her back right this no, it's unusual it's un it's no it's it's non-traditional that's what it is Ooh. it's non-traditional a duh no, that's the it's, same thing it's as unusual. unusual yeah it's non-traditional so okay it's both okay it's both <laughs> damn hey i'm saying that's what he wants to do and that what makes him happy and she's probably got to the point where she said you know what i thought i can deal with it but i can't deal with this anymore we can't grow anymore. I'm out of here. Here's a question that I have. When you have everything in the world, you literally have all the money. Your house is amazing. Is that amazing. everything in the world? Because honestly, I know a lot of people who, has, who have a lot of money, but they don't have their health. But that's, that's, so that's not everything in the world. But that's what I'm saying, though. When you have everything, you could go buy whatever you want. After a while, you, you can't buy mix, your health. I know, but you got to mix things up. And maybe Mr. Gates was trying to mix things up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yeah, but Gates. he was his ex. So, but his wife has to be like, oh, okay, to keep that money flow coming. Can't you? I, if at the very least, if you have a deal like that, wouldn't you? Wait, yeah, get right, an upgrade right. hey, from fellas, your ex. Fellas, let's yeah, break oh. this down. If it was me, if I was Mr. Gates, I was asked for a, a, a vacation. No, no, period. I wouldn't say. <laughs> I wouldn't do can it with I, my ex. Can I have a, spend a week with my ex? I would just say, can I spend a week with a honey of my choice? Well, that's what I'm saying. But right. I saw the picture of his ex. I'm like, you got too much money to be out here just choosing Here, anything. Here's the thing, though. I feel like Bill Gates married up. You know, he's not, a, I'm not trying to be rude, but he's not the best looking dude. And she, she looks like a school teacher. Well, he's not only is he a billionaire, but as you well know, he's a noted doctor. Oh, God, don't even. We're not doing this today. We're Sorry. not. Our, it was there. And I if know. I, didn't, Bro, I would hate myself in the listen morning. Listen, I'm telling you. I would hate listen, myself listen in the what morning. I, hey, listen when I tell you. The modern day and age, Thanos. Thanos. Bill right. Gates is a new Thanos. All right, let me say this. When you've got billions of dollars, looks don't matter. No. You look like it, George Clooney or George Bell. I'm telling you, <laughs> hey, you get a little, you get a little bit, you, listen, you look a little bit better. 
You get some money in your bank account. You look, you smell a little bit better. That's his You dress ass. a little bit nicer. That's your the smile. Ex? Your smile is a little bit prettier. Oh, there's no way I'd spend a week with her. <laughs> so for a comparison here, okay, this is his ex. Hey, beauty is with Look at her. That's 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 not, those are not even her teeth. No She's way. beautiful, bro. Look, no look. way. No, no. She has a beautiful personality. You no, don't know no, that. No, no, no. It doesn't matter about beach. looks. Put that in the It doesn't bikini. matter. It's not. You know what, though? You got to look at her attributes. What else comes along with her? Free does she bring for him, life. Does, does she bring him happiness? Do they sit down and have conversations to where she's fulfilling him mentally? No, but you if you're going to the look, beach, you look, if you're you're going to the beach, that. you're going to the beach to relax and just, just to have some good Yeah, but she's endorsed by Mr. Smiles. Right. You know, you go you to know? the beach so, to have sex. You go to the beach to uh, <laughs> chill out. You go to the beach to have sex? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Terry, yeah. what are you doing? Never, hey, heard of, me, never, hey, never heard of sex on the beach? Terry's never. living wild. Yeah, I heard of that drink. <laughs> I heard of that drink before. <laughs> What's all a in that drink? Lovely beach in Fort Lauderdale on a nice warm spring night. I, I'm gonna I tell you right now. About that. I'm gonna tell you for them. So, question: What was the finances looking like when they when they split? I know that she's getting like a billion plus in stocks. A billion plus in stocks. Jesus, mm -hmm. You know and what? Can, you know. You know what can help save him some money? That if he gives her financial call. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what is the last time you checked your interest rate? If it's over three percent, you need to call Hard Financial now for a free five-minute checkup. Tell them that Woolworths sent you, or tell them I sent you. Hard Financial is fast, and they do all of the heavy lifting. Art, right, what's up? <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Go to. <laughs> they do all of the heavy lifting. Go to DavidHardMortgage.com now and get started. What are you waiting for? You're on your couch. You're not doing anything. You're not making your life better. What are you doing? Is this, uh, an, is this an Everest College yeah. commercial? <laughs> Hard financial. They give you lower payments. They give you better options. And guess what? More personal attention. More than that, that, that massage parlor down the street that Art goes to. No. Hey, stay tapped in. Drake Bell, Sean Belizean, Terry Foster. Belizean the Bell Show. Stay tuned. I'm looking to bring out another HVAC tech right now. We are recruiting five to 10 techs a month. We're looking to grow and expand. Every new tech we hire is from Northwestern Tech. The hands-on training is fantastic. They're always my first call. We love hiring Northwestern Tech grads. They come out trained and ready to work. Our program is only 10 and a half months and our next classes are starting soon. So why wait? I'm looking to hire. I'm looking to hire. Hire a graduate of Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. You know, our fine producer actually asked the question. We're talking about this Bill Gates thing. In case you're just joining us, Bill Gates had a deal with his soon-to-be ex-wife that he would marry her if he was allowed to take one beach vacation a year with his ex-girlfriend. So, you know what, though? In <laughs> fairness, what did she look like? Can you can you find a picture of her, like, what was it? They were married, like, 27 years, right? The internet didn't exist during those times. <laughs> Like, like, they don't have pictures. They don't have pictures. I, it's I, crazy. I, mean, I don't, I don't you know, know what crazy? she looks like in everything. You know what's crazy? They still have, they have like, pictures of Abraham Lincoln. It's amazing. It's Here you go. Here you go. This Dude, that's an encyclopedia, though. When maybe Microsoft first started, I'm guessing. So she wasn't? No. It's the Tifers. No. But anyway, um, so our fine producer, Kennedy, asked this question. Could you make a deal like this with your significant other? And I had, because I could make that deal, and she would tell me to have a great time, and then when I came home, all, all my shit in my house would be strewn all over yeah. the lawn, you said, and you the said locks what? would be you said, changed. Hold on, you said what? Uh, Kennedy asked, could you make a deal like this with your significant other? Well, Hell I no. could make a deal like that. And then she'd tell me to have a good time, and when I came home, everything that I owned would be outside of the house, but and the locks would be son, changed. Son, like Bill Gates, you married up. It's her Your wife is wonderful. Thank you. She's great. Hold up. All right. All right. Don't, 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 don't you talk about Miss Belizean like that. I said she's wonderful. No. <laughs> no. You don't talk. You don't. Her, her name does not come out of your mouth. Uh, she likes me more than you. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she does ask not. Ask her. I talk to her. Don't personally. ask her because you can't hey. talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to talk to What's her. What's happened to Joyke, man? He used to be so low key. Thank you. Huh? Now, now he's a, I now, came out of my shell. Not, now let him run me out. That gorilla. Now he's a ball of fire. <laughs> What's up? You think so? 
Thanks. There's Thanks, no Terry. way. Come on, your significant other's not going to make a deal no, like that. No, there's mind. no way. Yeah, no, no. I not, was, not, not I if they really love my you. Wife. No, no, no. Not if they really. Love. No, if they really want to possess you, it does. It's not about it, it, love. It, this is what it is. Now, it's a lot of non-traditional relationships out there, right? And it's not. I'm, I'm not in a place to say what's right or wrong. I'm not. You know, but you have some people who say, "Listen." You can go on a vacation with, with your ex, but guess what? Or with another woman, uh, another lady of your liking, but guess what? I'm coming too, and we're going to both enjoy it. Oh. Put, put, a, put a picture of homegirl back up there. The I'm ex. not saying, listen now, this is something no, totally, this no, is something no, weird. No, no, the other one, the other picture. What happened is the woman agreed to it because he said, look at homegirl. He said, he ain't touching that. <laughs> so... He can go anywhere he wants uh, with listen. her. I know he Terry, ain't touching that. Terry, listen. Listen to me. What? That was his ex. Well, she, the ex for a reason. Right. you got so, tired of it. But what I'm saying, how you know she didn't break up with him? How you know that? I don't know. But no, exactly. You don't know. So so for you to sit here and say he wouldn't touch her, he touched her before. So why won't he touch her again? That's all I'm saying. But here's, here's the thing. That's Terry's all I'm saying. Hold up. Our, our, our he woke now. up. Would you hit it? I wouldn't touch it with a <laughs> with a ten foot pole, but that's me. That's me. See, I mean, there's always there's somebody. Mrs. There's Bell somebody right for there. everybody. She's just not my type. Beautiful woman, just not my type. All right, <laughs> All right whatever, dude. Just not my type. <laughs> yes, Arthur. I'm just saying. Is he beautiful to you, Sean? Absolutely not. Well, that I mean, she good. might not be easy on your eyes, but she might be easy on somebody else's eyes. She might be a eyes. wonderful no, human but being. but when you go to the beach, you're not there to read books or to get to know one another. You, you can't go there. You can't, have, you go you to can't see her. She might have a beautiful body that he that he enjoys. Listen, she there's might an Al Avila joke there. Al Avila is, by all accounts, a wonderful human being. He has no business being general manager of the Tigers. She could be a wonderful human being. I have no business being in the sack with her. I mean, really, they, I'm sorry. What do you want me to say? <laughs> None. It's not happening. Right. And you don't you know, go on a beach to vacation to read Socrates. <laughs> you go there read to have Bale, fun. Read Beowulf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not there there to read, I'm not there to read Joyce's autobiography. <laughs> okay. I've had more than a few ladies come onto me at a bar, and then their dude walk up and try to get me to go home with them for real what are you serious yep i had sex on the beach in orlando i was at my brother's wedding and ended up on the beach with a female from the wedding party great times man right y'all ain't never had sex on the beach now the only thing that's messed like up he is, woke is up, the same. made himself cereal and found out there's only sports left all right oh, one, sports, one of the people on sports. this show is a pretender oh, okay. and you know who that is what was that this for? man right here pretender You, yeah. <laughs> Don't act like you never had sex on the beach. No, man, it's overrated. Sand. Oh, but you have had. No, it. I'm just saying, like, no, no, no. So my older cousin told me about it a long time ago. Ah. He said he said it's overrated. He said you get sand all, sand gets everywhere. It's just not, a, it's, it's not a comfortable feeling. No, no, no. But you get one of them little cabana things, whatever that was in with the shade on it, and you hit it there. That's I not think that's something that's that's not, it is on the beach. You put it on the beach. Everybody okay, so, so you pull once. up to the beach in the car and have sex in the car. That's having sex on the beach, too? Yes. Well, you're on the beach. Okay. So. You know, uh, I'm a gentleman. I, I, I'm a it's gentleman. Not just a drink you ordered at Tiki Bob's. Listen, yeah. I'm, I'm a gentleman. I do not kiss and tell. No, just the Instagram. Art, no, have I, you, Art <laughs> you ever had sex on the beach? Uh, no comment. No comment. What? All right, no can I? Is there some stigma <laughs> behind it? Is there, like, it's like, just it's just like a bucket list for a lot of people. I had a my first encounter was on a beach. Period. I, End of bam. story. I, you you, you know. lost your virginity on the beach. Yeah. I love. I was in. How old was I? Hmm. Good times. Uh, this is weird. <laughs> Stop Good it. Times. You know what? I, I had sex on, in a cornfield. <laughs> In a cornfield? Yes. See, I'd be terrified of children of the corn and shit like that. Malachi I, come walking around the corner. I'd be I was terrified. Just a, no, I was afraid the police were going to show up. That's the, only, that's the only fear I had. I had a teammate who, who um, like, on the, like, on the field, like, in the end zone, <laughs> on the outdoor field. At Wayne State? 
I'm not going to say I'm where not it was. going in that end zone not, ever again. You don't know what? I'm not going to say <laughs> where it was that. I'm just telling you. It was Ford Field. <laughs> that was the only winning that ever happened on that field. Oh! oh! Touchdown! <laughs> yes, fish! Man, Terry, you, you, you were in a... <laughs> <laughs> not the only scoring that was done in that field by a Lions player. That's what it should have been. No, 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 no. Go I, ahead, I fish. had 20-plus touchdowns there, so that's... Ter- Terry, you were in a cornfield or a corn maze? No, field. You <laughs> Not a maze, field? a field. So what happened? She by? just said, oh, look, honey, the corn's beautiful. Yeah, and she just <laughs> laid down? Is that what happened? <laughs> no, no, there was Come corn. Come on, kids. Oh, boy. Crows. Oh, boy. Oh, was it, I, I want to know why you chose the cornfield. No? Wife. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> Where was, are we allowed to ask the general vicinity of the cornfield? It was uh, in the thumb. Okay. It was in I don't. It was Lots of beautiful. near Port Santalac. Cornfields up there. There were very underrated part of the state. I might add that the thumb, the thumb area, beautiful. Lexington, Cross. Yeah. Oh my beautiful gosh. Area. No, the, the, I mean the best parts of Michigan on the west side. <laughs> Lake Michigan. You Dude. mean Benton Harbor, Indiana? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not Benton Harbor. The it's, it's, Benton it's, it's the UP, and it's not even close. Like, stop it. It's Let's all UP? stop pretending. No, it's not. It's the, the best West. part of Michigan is the UP. No, it's period. not, Sean. No, it's not, Sean. I've been there. You've been there. Come on, you, 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 have, you have to come to the west side of the state. And, and oh, let me, it's beautiful out and there. Let, and no let me show you. It. And let me show you Michigan through my eyes. Let me show you what I grew up oh, around. Boy. Let me show you the the water, the, the the real beaches with the imported sand, as Ziggy would call it. As, but I'm telling you, it's Michigan beautiful. from Joyce's eyes. You know what the UP doesn't have? What's that? The ice cream shops and beaches. <laughs> Clean beaches. Are you kidding? No, they got beaches. Clean. Just the water is like four degrees. Right. Lake right. Superior is the cleanest lake that we have. It is a, and you can't get in it because you it's can too tell he's from Indiana. Do you remember that? Do you remember that famous picture? Okay, there was the winner Flint. a few years ago. It was thirteen fourteen. Remember, we broke the record for most snow in in the year, and it was just it was forever. It started it started uh, late December and it went until April. Right? There was that, what year was this? Uh, thirteen fourteen. The winner of. 2013, 2014. It was snow on the ground, like still in, like it, in June. It, it was insane. It was it still was, snow on the but ground. But there, in June. there was this famous picture, um, and I remember Ken Cal, the voice of the Red Wings, tweeted it out. Uh, so the beach opened in in Marquette, like the first week of May, right? And it was a beautiful, you know, 70 degree balmy day up in Marquette, and they had all these all these college students at the beach in Marquette, and they're in their, you know, their trunks and bikinis and everything and there's freaking ice flows like at the beach somebody took a picture of of like the beach it's the first week of may and there's like sticking icebergs and everything out in 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 the middle of the harbor I can that that place is crazy it's up there, nuts right? it's crazy yeah. it's beautiful it is nice but it's too damn cold yeah and and why, not, now here's that's what, why it's, that's here's why it's what, not the most beautiful the, here's what the up has that Benton harbor doesn't have what waterfalls I'll There's like 50 to 60 waterfalls up there. And moose. And I'll moose. Give I'll give you that. <laughs> Real ones, yeah. not wrought iron moose. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, what's, uh, all right, what's the plural word for um, geese? Like a, a ga- uh, like a bunch of them? Yeah. Uh, it's just geese. A, 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 geese. Uh, all right, well, goose. What, so, all right, what's the plural word for moose? It's just moose. Oh, my God. Okay, appreciate mm-hmm. it. Okay. Don't. It's too early in the morning. Moose. <laughs> no, it's just moose. I. You know. What if I see two moose? It's moose is plural, for moose. Okay. That's the. It's a. Kind of tricky. <laughs> Joyce trick English question. 101. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's kind of tricky. Hey, anyway, hey, let me tell you about my friends at Eight Mile Vodka. What about Eight Mile Vodka? Eight Mile Vodka is born in Detroit. In Detroit? And it's distilled in single 90-liter batches to allow for optimal quality control and care. Then, (laughs) carbon filtered, aerated, and bottled at the perfect time to produce a subtle taste with a smooth finish and a character all its own. Now, you're not going to deny that logo, are you? Look at that logo. That logo is awesome. An exceptional premium vodka that can be chilled and enjoyed straight or mixed to create an exceptional cocktail. True story. I'm picking up my son from the airport on Sunday. You know what he says to me last night? Dad, do you have some vodka? I'd like a Moscow mule when I get home. Yes, son, I'll do that. Next time you're out 
Ask your bartender for an eight mile vodka or pick up a bottle at Meyer and always remember to drink responsibly. Joy Bell, Terry Foster, lots of stuff with the Lions. Fight night last night at MSG. It wasn't John L. Sullivan. So many things to get to. So glad you could join us. It's a Thursday morning right here on Woodward Sports. We are here, downtown Fenton, my favorite Bridge Street Exchange. That's right, and uh, you want to switch up your wardrobe this summer? It's this easy. You ready, Joey? I'm ready. All right, you ready? I like it. You want to do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. All right. Ooh, Brixton, nice. One more time? Yes. Ooh, I like the hat on this one, too. You ready to do it one more time, Joey? I'm getting tired. One last one. All right, let's change it. <laughs> Bro, where's your shirt? You need new clothes this summer. Bridge Street Exchange in Fenton. That's where you need to go. Thank you, guys. Evidently, Terry has a Moscow Mule story to uh, tell us when he comes back. He had a business meeting to go to, but I, you know what? I can't wait to hear that because I, I told you guys it's funny. It's, it's you know, to each their own. Everybody's got their thing. Uh, my son loves the Moscow Mule, and, and and Joy. Basically, if I remember correctly, it's the vodka, it's ginger beer. Crap, I forget what else they do to it. But it's do, their drink. It's not my add, drink. They, they add, love it. Do they add mint to it? Yeah, they add something to it, but I forget what it I is. I think it's mint. Maybe mint. somebody knows, is but they, they 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 add mint and ginger. Yeah, yeah. They they love it. Mint, ginger, and vodka. No, you yeah, know what a little it bit is? Of lime. It's lime. Yeah, it's lime. Yeah, a little bit of lime. Because I always have to go get. Because I have to go to the grocery store later today to buy lime. That's on the guy who never. He's going to be home for a week. So yeah. <laughs> Are that, you love that too? Though. That's his thing. <laughs> All right, what's up? Nothing. I'm just Joyke, Joyke's personality is really shining lately, and it's just Sean will be doing a read, and he do the thing that you go go ahead. Show him what you do while Sean's doing the the this. Go, go ahead. I, don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you do oh, for real? Don't do I, that. I, I'm, I'm way yeah. too into the read. What do you do for real? Are you I mean, I was talking during your read, you know, just kind of amping it up. You say. No, you turn into a five year old and you do like the thing with the paper. I'm just over here having a good time. Have a, to, why having are a good you time trying to get No, I'm just saying. Arthur. You're an expert and you don't, you don't need distractions. He's an expert. But if I'm an expert, I'm not going to be distracted. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, you know you what? Make, you, I, I, let me give you a definition of a true professional. Kobe Bryant is on the bench. Laser vision on what's going on in the game. He has one of the funniest men in the world. Me? No. Oh. Chris Rock. You are a funny man. Thank you. Chris Rock. Spilling out jokes because he's sitting on he's sitting courtside and Kobe is not even paying attention to him. Laser vision. That's that's Sean Belizean. I didn't say that. You know what? That's Both Sean of Belizean. you are number two today. We're professionals right Fish, now. Fish, you're number one, buddy. Sean, we're you know, Sean, we're professionals here. Even when I'm doing my read and you saw laughing over there, I can pick up on it. I love and, when you and get, I love I, it. I love and you know what? Other people like Jenna made a comment on, on Facebook can you put about up that, it. Can you bring up that comment? About right. how like, like Joyke, seriously, you're showing people what I've known for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. You are a funny, animated dude. Yeah. I'm, People see you as Joyke Bell football player. They don't me know. run you over. You're because a funny, animated I'm, I'm, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm more than that, Sean. Sean, I'm more than that. That's I'm, what I've been saying. I'm more than a football player, Sean. That's what I'm trying to tell people. For, so. <laughs> see, look at that. Look at that. That's a comment. You improve so much in these. Who is that? Oh, that's Jenna. Right? Hey, Jenna. Isn't How are that, you? I is that a picture Jenna. of Landshark, by the way? I, I, and that threw me off. I didn't know who that was. Can, can you look at, is that Landshark? Yeah, bring, on, that, bring, bring it back that up. That looks like Landshark. It, yeah, bring it back up. I'm right. trying. Will you give me a minute? Art has one job. Bring up something. Joy, from, I'm serious. Just, you want to get, get in there? there. Joy, we're going to get you in there for you see how hard it is. You're going to struggle. You're going to sweat. Joy, Chad's going to give you text. you so much with these since the start. You're going to suffer like that one chip face. you're going to take. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Fish, can I have new reads? <laughs> can I have new reads? Yeah, what, what happened to my new reads? You oh. said to give me new... I gave you them on Wednesday or Tuesday. Hey, you know dirty? when I get that gorilla in me, I need a new one every day. Every day? 
No. You know how much do, paper only, you're wasting? Only when I do the gorilla talk. There is nothing that, that makes me happier than to watch the evolution a fish. of fish. Me and fish are coming nothing, out of our shells. Nothing makes me happier. You know, and we call him fish because he used to be a shrimp. And then he came out of his shell, and now he's a... <laughs> By the way, Choff just walked in the studio. I don't want you and Choff to fight, Art. I Why? don't. Why? Okay. Watch your words. I No, really, I don't want you because I like both of you, and you're both no. nice guys. Stop. Who's back do you Tell got? Tell Choff to come grab these hands. That's right. Come catch Believe these hands. Believe me. Catch these hands, What Choff. side are you on? What side are you on? Choff. Choff. But Choff is such a nice guy. That's, that's the crazy part because you're a nice guy, too. But when you get set off, like that old bag will hit your car. You turned up. We saw a new shine. The shine that I've always known. The shine that I've always known. No. That I want to get out there to the public. The public needs to know the real shine. The I'm real a you. really happy guy. I know I don't come across it, but I'm, I'm a happy Sean, guy. We, we know Art, that you're, why are you looking at me? I'm a really listen, happy guy. Listen, we know that you're gay, Sean. We know that. But what we're saying here is that you have a mean streak in you. You have a mean streak in you. And the world needs to see that, that you're not to be played with. And now, this is the thing. When I, when I, when I, you know, I leave Sean and then he goes off with his family, I say, Sean, be safe. You know, you know what he says to me? He said, no, not be safe, <laughs> be dangerous. That's what he tells me. I said, woo, <laughs> don't want to get on his wrong no, Don't want to get on this no, wrong side. No, you don't want to. I want to get on this wrong side. You don't want anything to do with when a, this. When a, when, a, when a man tells you, be safe, you mean stay dangerous? I don't want to mess with him. I'm just saying. I, I don't like the, I am a happy guy. I am. I, no, really, I truly am. All right, so much stuff with the Lions. Uh, can, where do you want to start first? Do you want to start with the center? Do you want to start with the running back? Do you want to start start with some of Coach Campbell's contact, uh, comments? I want to start. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pick, okay? All right. Carry on I mean, Johnson. I, you know, I was going to go there. Okay. Carry on Johnson. Yes. Can I say this about Carry on Johnson? Yes. Um, sometimes scouts hit the nail on top of the head. And if you don't believe me, go back and read what people said about Carrion Johnson before he got drafted. And do you know what people said? What? Talent might be able to slip into the first round. Dude can't stay healthy. That is a concern moving forward. And you know what we saw in the National Football League? Talent, he teased us all his first year. I thought that we had a running back for years to come. Not Barry. You know, because that's the time-honored thing around here. Who's the next Barry? There's never going to be a next Barry. There's well, never, ever going to be a next Barry. No. Barry it might be is somebody, here. Yeah, it might be somebody who come in that might be better than Barry, but they can't be Barry Sanders, though. Do you see that happening? Um, well, I'm going to tell you this. Records are set to be broken. Now... I don't you know. I don't know if you'll ever see a running back as exciting as Barry. I'm, and I'm no. serious when I say that. I, no. I don't. You don't I, see it. I've been. I again. I'm 50 years old. Generational talent. There is. There is one Barry Sanders. I don't. My my father swears by Gale Sayers. Uh, I did not see Gale Sayers. Um, in in my. You can't even compare anybody to Barry Sanders. Mm -mm. We were talking about him before the show started, and Terry brought up a great point. Yeah. You never saw Barry Sanders get popped. Never. Ever. Go back and watch film. It's in their gravity. He never got popped. Somebody tripped him up. Yeah. Somebody chipped him. Some Whatever. Reached out an arm. But you never saw Barry get... It's insane. It. You know, it was his, his balance, his flexibility, his change of direction, his ability to be able to change direction. Um... The way he was able to maneuver his body um, last second from taking the big shot is very, like, that's very rare to see or, or to have. Gosh, I and loved I, KJ. Gosh, I loved he was this a good, guy. I'm going to tell you, this guy had a lot of talent, but like you said, you're only valuable when you're available. And when you're not available, this is what happens. And that's the nature of this business, right? And determining, and, and it's kind of like what we talked about the other day when I said your patience or love for someone will determine your patience with them. 
if that was another guy that they drafted, he probably would have been going after year two. But they loved him. They you know they were patient with him, so they gave him an extra year. But when you're hurt year after year after year, you bring no value to the success of this team. Um, Steve said KJ will land somewhere and he will. flourish. He's he's such a good running back. He is. Uh, it, it, you just have to you have to accept that if you bring him in. Yeah, and and I wouldn't put. And I saw a comment down there that said Amir Abdullah, Javid Best, uh, and KJ. And I wouldn't put Javid in that. I won't put him in that category. Uh, it was his was more so a personal choice of leaving the game because of the damage that could happen to him years out of the league, which I feel for him was a smart decision. His brain was battered. Battered. On 100% and, of his and, side. And, um, and so he did what he felt was best for him. 1,000%. Um, and so I won't put him in that – I won't put him in that because that's something different. Um, it's the difference between having uh, a torn muscle, um, a pool growing, uh ACL. It's the difference between that and then having concussions and then having symptoms from having concussions. I won't put him in that category. But KJ, great talent. Um, sad to see him go uh, without him, you know, being able to flourish here because he had a he has a lot of talent. And he'll he does. Get, and he'll go to another team. He'll get a shot somewhere else. And you know, it might be good for him. It might be good. He for him. is going to be because of. Not only what his rep was coming into the league, but because of what you saw in Detroit, whoever brings him in, he is always going to be on the short end of a rotation. And there is no way you can give this guy the listen, rock a lot. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. He cannot control that. If he gets to a team and they give him, he goes through a season and all he has is 60 carries. But he made it through that season healthy. And he was averaging, say, seven to eight yards a carry out that 60. The next year is going to go up. They might give you 90 to 100 carries. You get, you make it through that season. You have to work. You have to rebuild your reputation. You have to get your body to a point to where you understand it. Because I've talked to scouts about KJ before this even happened. And they say that his body structure and his body type, it doesn't look like he's an NFL running back. And so he's going to have to get in that weight room and start to build those muscles up around his joints. Because if that's what scouts are saying about you, you know they talk to other scouts in the NFL. And that's one thing that I kind of harp on to kids in college coming out. Understand that the people that are around you now, whether it's a janitor, whether it's a teacher, a principal, a dean, understand that scouts are going to talk to those people and not just your coaches. Sure. They want to know, how are you as a man? Is he a hard worker? Or do he just work hard on the football field? And that's the thing for me is, if you're not giving 100% off the field, there's no way that you can give 100% on the field because th you think you can just go through life giving some things 50%, 60%, that. and then get on the field and just give it 100%. It doesn't work like that. That's beautiful. Uh, you know what's interesting, uh, Joyke, is you have to give the scouts 100% um, props because go back and read the scouting reports on Carrion Johnson. I mean, it's there. It's real. You know, I mean, I've you done these draft it. shows forever, and, and everybody and their brother was talking about it. i got to bring up an example of something that you talked about. Because Talk you me. said this was his reputation, and, and there's maybe something you can do to build up the muscles around there and everything. Yeah. You ever hear of a guy named Michael Irvin? Yeah. I loved Michael Irvin. Like, Mike, Michael <coughs> Irvin was Let's just a bad man. I, I loved him at Miami. I loved him in the NFL, okay? Right. No fear. Do you know what his reputation was going into the league? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? He's a guy that doesn't want to go over the middle, and he's afraid of taking the big hit. Think about that. What is Michael Irvin known for in the National Football League? Not giving a bleep. Going over the middle. being He knew that. Michael Irvin heard all that stuff. You know, because he was with the high-flying hurricanes and, you know, uh, all of that. And, you know, they, they made the big plays, and they danced and came out in the smoke and everything. He got to the National Football League built himself up and one of the most fearless wide receivers to ever play at the National Football League level. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So, you know what? He took that. He took some of that stuff that scouts were saying and that was his fuel. And and he became a badass. Now, but, but he eventually listen. paid for it. He broke his neck for goodness sake and had to retire. But, listen, but that was one bad man. But I want you to understand this. I want you to understand this. 
He took that and used it for what? Fuel. For fuel. Not everyone has that mentality, mm -hmm. though, Sean. And that's the difference between poodles and gorillas. Oh, no. That's... <laughs> That's the difference. There's the word. Hey, be, no, honestly, Die. I feel like I performed better when I had adversity. I felt, I felt at home when I had adversity, and some players just feel at home when they have adversity. From the from the off season training to the the weight room training to the conditioning tests to the training for the condition, some people want that adversity, so they might work out with a weight vest on, just to give them that extra oomph. You know, and so for some guys, they look at adversity and, you know, you know, they might fold or they might go through the motions. And you have guys like this. You have guys like this that use it for fuel and goes out there and becomes a legend. Look at that guy. Hey, look, I'm terrified of going over the middle. Yeah. So I'm just going to and not the fastest guy, yeah. as you can tell. Not the fastest. Just but, uh, he was heart. phenomenal. I love but Michael heart. Irvin. That heart. Oh, tremendous wide receiver. I'm telling you. And then he broke his neck, and that was the end of his career. At that, that very stadium, as a matter of fact. He broke his neck in Philly. He was, you know, I think this generation kind of looks at Michael Irvin, at, you know, oh, he's that goofball on the NFL Network. He was oh, a funny. phenomenal wide receiver, man. How do you think he got man. there? How do you think he got what, there? Look at that, Super Bowl. He, sc he scored twice in like a minute and a half. He had two touchdowns in like a minute and a half in that Super Bowl. Oh, he was he was fun to watch, man. You ever get guys like that that like they're not one of yours? They're not one of yours, but you just like watching them. I, like mm. Michael Irvin was a guy like that for me. I just yeah. uh, Ladanian Tomlinson. LT. Oh, I loved LT. LT. Loved. Him. I'm gonna give you a story about LT. You know him? No, I, I'm gonna give you. A, I've met him. I, I had met. his fat head on my yeah. wall. And Seriously. Yeah, so I actually I met him while I was playing, but. When I was in college, when I was in college, um, I wrote him a letter. And this, no, I'm just, this is me coming out of high school. Okay. I think that he had trained some or some other running back. And I heard about it, I think, through the internet. I think I heard about it. So I wrote him a letter asking if I could train with him in this next offseason because I wanted to be the best. I didn't get a reply, but, hey, I wrote the letter to him. And just, I get a reply. Did you, so, did you see him since then? Yeah. And so, and so when I made it to the league, so um, I met him at a Super Bowl. And we're at, we were um, both at an event, and we uh, we ended up connecting through a friend, and then we were talking. And now, like, you got any advice for, you know, a running back in the league now? And he said, study your divisional opponents. And I said, why just them? He said, if you study them and you play well against them, you're going to get a big contract. That Trust was me. his advice. That was his advice. That's great advice. And great I heard advice. that. I heard that before from Willie Young, and so that just kind of solidified or confirmed, gave me confirmation on what I've already known. So, um, yeah, that was our conversation. Yeah, good That's stuff. Me. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah. So you know, listen, I, I wish Kerry on the best. It. it didn't work here. I didn't. It, it's sad. Um, you know, it's not sad. It, it's not sad at all. This is the business. And when you have the injuries that you're having, you're not on the field, you see this coming. You see it coming. Oh, but, 100%. But, but the thing, the, the reason it's not sad, because now he can go test the market now and find a team that where he can go and start learning the playbook now if he gets picked up by another team, rather than being cut during training camp. Well, how many times in our life as Lion fans did we find ourselves in this predicament and there wasn't an option there? And this time there is an option. Is there. option. I'm very happy with DeAndre Swift. I'm yeah. happy with Williams. I'm happy with Jamar Jefferson. And I'm happy yeah. with Joyke Bell. That's a good <laughs> four-man rotation for the Lions. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if I can. Yeah, Brad, look at that. It. Yeah. You want some of that. Got it. You want some of that in your offensive backfield. You know, I told you, he was sick. You know, when I talk, all right, stop, stop it, all right. You're embarrassing yourself. I was just trying to get some muscles. If Only I... thing that looks hard about you is your tats. <laughs> Do you like that four-man rotation? 
Yeah, uh, you're give on me third the soft downs. side of the rotation. Give me, give me third downs. No special. I, um, what special teams will I do? I would do kickoff return. I would do that. I'll be the off returner, blocking for the return. What if they said, Joyke, you need to do kick and punt? Kickoff? Yeah. I'll be the one. I'll be the L1 or R1. Sign him. Call me. We'll make it happen. You okay? know. The, Are uh, you still represented? Yeah, I don't. I didn't fire. I, you know I what? I want to be your agent. I know you do. I'll take 2%. That's less than your agent. No. You're a businessman. That's they, smart. No, I, I talked him down to 1-5 before I signed my big deal. 1-1. One, one. It's too late. You already gave your offer. Son of a... Uh, you, are, you already gave your offer. Son of a... You played your hand. Jeez, oh, Pete. We have an audience today. Yeah, we do. We have an audience today. What up, Joey? What up, Stick? What up, though? What up? See, it sounds natural when Stick says it. Why am I the only one that <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds... Do it again, Stick. What up, though? What See? up, though? What up, though? <laughs> I can't help it. It's sometimes when you say it, I either just burst out into laughter what up, or I do like a stale up, like dope? face. It's like what up, dope? It's, it's not it's nothing in between. He screwed me up. He said I have to drop the octave on dope. So this is what up, dope? <laughs> what is up, dope? No, I, I, <laughs> I said what is up, dope? Was... Hold on, hold on. Do it again. <laughs> what is up? Oh, keep it on me, too. <coughs> Dude, I'm sorry. It's always got to be about you, Joyke. I'm, I'm, I'm directing. Right. This is Sean's <laughs> moment. I'm directing it. Me. Ah, what is up? <laughs> no. Do you remember that art? <laughs> 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 you remember that art? <laughs> Just forget it. Can I? You never ask seen Blue you... Street? You never see that? Can With I? Dave Chappelle, you never see that? Joy, oh did my you? God. Did you? You know, you, you. Oh my! Did you hear the story uh, of what Dan Campbell said? I'm intrigued to hear this from you, uh, because I think you fit this mold. What Dan Cam? What Dan Campbell said he is looking for? Yeah. Uh, for his football team. We'll get into that next. We'll also get into Frank Ragnow. I've been saying for months, we got to start calling this guy the best center in football. Lines agreed. We'll talk about that as well. Don't you go anywhere. He's Joy Bell. I'm Sean Belegian. I can't wait to get into fight night at MSG Grr. as well. So glad you can join us right here on Woodward Sports. Hey, guys, I'm D-Mac. Hey, guys, I'm Pilar. That was a little slow. Right. Hi, I'm D-Mac. I wasn't ready. I was doing this. Hi, I'm D-Mac. Hey, I'm Pilar. I'm Maz. You're lit. Hi, I'm D-Mac. Hi, I'm Pilar. <laughs> I'm Maz. We suck. You now. suck. Catch us Monday to Friday, 3 to 5. Every day, right here on The Hook. On Woodward Sports Network. What up, though? What up, though? That one was better. That was, better. That was pretty good. Thank you. That was pretty good. Art? You know what? You dropped it, and you, and what you up, did you did, you did it, and then you didn't um, you didn't shorten it. Okay. Uh, so did you guys see this piece that came out? Can, um, can you bring that up, Art? I think this is a fantastic uh, article and one that I would like to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Risden. I'd love to get Jeff on the show sometime. Does a great job for uh, Lion's Wire. Uh, came out with a piece, and it appeared on Yahoo. And um, Dan Campbell was on the Moving the Chains program on Sirius. And he said, quote, we really, excuse me, we felt like it was important to really, really identify these guys that we felt like can change or create a culture around here that embodies who we are and what we're about. And here's the interesting part. This is what I want to talk to you about. Find football players that really believe in the way we believe and are cut from the same cloth. That yeah. was really important. We want to focus on football players that have talent, not talented athletes that maybe can develop into football players. We wanted to kind of stay away from that. I What a understand great that. quote. Uh, you know, I understand that because you have some GMs who feel that some things you can't teach, like you can't teach speed. And so they want to go out and just get fast guys. And I'm not going to say their name, but you have some GMs who, or owners who felt that way about players. 
that's not going to guarantee you're going to win games. Um, you have to have a football IQ. You have guys who are big and strong in the weight room. They might be the strongest, but they get out there on the field and they don't know how to leverage or, or, or utilize their strength, and they're getting thrown around. And so I, I definitely understand what he's talking about when he says he wants football players and not just athletes. I understand that wholeheartedly, and I agree with him. You know what? I look at that as luxury. And what I mean by that is, and, and you hear the term luxury pick all the time, okay? Mm-hmm. What I mean yeah. by, what it, I mean by that good. is if you have a solid line, you have a solid, you're both sides of the line, you have a couple, two, three good wide receivers. Yeah, I'm willing to call the guy Willie Galt back in the day. The Bears called track phenom Willie Galt and said, come play wide receiver for us. Willie Galt shouldn't have been a wide receiver in the National Football League, but you know what? They made it work for a few years because you know what? They didn't put him in a position where they said, you're our one or our two or X to use a term from today. You're just a piece and things like that. The Lions aren't in the market right now for taking chances. It's, it's again, using the house analogy, right? Okay. You know what? Later on, I want this screen in my house. Okay. Mm -hmm. But not right now. That'll be a luxury later on. I'm going to have this screen in my house, but not right now. You know what? Same thing. Yeah. I, I want the hot tub in my bathroom. I do. Okay? Yeah. But I'm not going to take care of that right now because there's a lot of other stuff that needs to be done. And it does. Coach Campbell wants to go get football players. Amen. He wants to go get football players. And he doesn't care about the luxury picks right now. But you know who do care about luxury picks? Fans. Mm-hmm. But – that's right now because they think they know what it takes to run a team. But you have a guy who – this is a profession. This is what he does, right? And they wanted – you know, people want a receiver taken in the first round. But understand, that's that's what we want, but that's not what we need, all right? And so I remember I was just at dinner um, earlier earlier this week. I was at din- – no, I'm sorry, last week. And I was sitting with some higher-ups at, um, at Rocket Mortgage – um, a football, a basketball coach of Flint, and then uh, a business partner of mine. We were talking, and they were all saying we should have taken a receiver. And I had to explain to them the type of chess moves that Brad Holmes is making. And then after, and then after we got through the conversation, it got to a point to where we, you know what? We just want to win. We just everything you said sounds good. We just want to win. Well, I want you to understand, we're not about to win this year. Mm-mm. We're not going to win next year. Mm-mm. We'll start seeing the results mm-hmm. in probably year three, year four. And you'll see we're laying a foundation now. But you have to be patient. You've been waiting over 50 years. You can wait five more. You can wait four more. Be patient. We're making moves. We're doing all the right things. And if you can't sit back and get out of your ego and stop being selfish and just stop saying me, 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 like Sean does sometimes. Hey. Like Sean does sometimes. It's all about me. It's about what I want. Hmm. You you do that sometimes, Sean? Best friends attacking you. I'd like a sub right now. I'd like a, like a nice big sub. Like, do you know what I would do to a sub right now? <laughs> that's that's a, you asked me. So it is all about me. I I want a big sub. Like like, and I'm not talking. Hey, can you get the mini sub? No, I want a big. You sub. Want that big boy? I want that big sub. You want that big boy? What were we talking about? And so what I was saying was, be patient with our lines. Be patient with the front office. Be patient with the players. We're getting them in. Uh, I know some people wanted more linebackers. We, we literally got everything we needed. We had great value out of this draft. And just wait and watch the players. Just wait. And then we have a whole nother year. By the way, I, I want mean- us to suck this year. I want us to be really, really bad this year. I want the Rams to be really, really bad this year. But I want Stafford to have good numbers. Oh, I love what Joey three times said. What Joey three Joey times? Joey three times said. I think we should have, I think we should wide have signed wide back receivers to back. back to back. Next year. Next year. Next year. I want you to understand this. Joey, what use is having two good wide receivers if the quarterback is being pressured to throw the ball and can't throw good balls? And now it makes the quarterback look terrible. And so now we're building around our quarterback. We're getting him protection. But you know what else we're doing? We're building the own line for our run game that we never have. That's what we're building now. Do you know what and, I 
I, I, I love the most, and I sent this in a, in a uh, text yesterday to our group text, our Woodward Sports group text. I, for five minutes, I paid attention to what was going on in the text. It's five minutes I'll never get back, but, um, you know, Stick's sitting right here. He knows the truth. You know what? Most of the times I get those texts and I just go like this. Huh. I'm going to delete. And I, nothing in there for me. But anyway, I sent I sent something yesterday. Chad was talking about the draft last year. Chad Johnson. Yeah. Next year. I, Joey, three times. I'm talking to you right now. Okay? And I mean this respectfully. Go to your phone and go to profootballnetwork.com. They have a draft simulator there. It is unbelievable some of the situations. I don't think people understand the wonderful position that Brad Holmes has put this team in Mm -hmm. moving forward. Now, again, I'm going to say the same thing that I said to you day one of the the trade, okay? You have to make these picks count. You have to you have to make these picks count. But but in all my draft, my mock draft simulations and everything, Mm -hmm. and that's why I laughed Joey three times. What can what what can I I I get? I got back to back really good wide receivers in the second round. Really like both of them can be considered number one type receivers. Okay? And and by the way, you know what else I did? I still got my quarterback of the future and I still got an edge. And then go back to that last comment real quick. Go Arf, further. There are stud linebackers in the third and fourth round. Do a couple simulations. You'd be stunned. This guy and is the smart. Lions have so much capital. This guy is smart. LF I agree with J Bell. Be patient. The front office is building a foundation for a championship team. It is going to take time. And for the team to be as bad as it once was. You can't expect for for us to go to be one of the worst teams in the NFL to be a championship team in one year. How many guys are still on the team from the 2017 draft? Kenny, uh, how how many? Kenny brought one? up a great point. It's been the Lions' mantra for 57 years. Kenny, I'll be the first guy to tell you, the last thing any Lion fan wants to hear, or quite frankly should hear, is be patient. Okay. I will tell you why this is different and why it's okay for me. Do you know why it's okay for me? For the first time ever, they aren't pissing on you and saying it's raining. They aren't telling you that they're this close. Yeah. They aren't telling you that you need a nip here or a tuck there. But you know what they hate? And we'll be ready to go. They hate it just as much as a girl telling. Is they hate it just as much as you telling a girl, relax. Where's that from, Art? You don't know where that's from? Bagging it up. Partisan Fount- Fontaine and Cardi B. Oh, I don't, I'm not a big Cardi B fan. I'm not in her demographic. Hey, but you like Partisan Fontaine, right? Never heard of her. It's a guy, but okay. <laughs> it's, it's a guy. All right, now you're back. It's a guy. And just like that, we're back. It's a, it's, it, Partisan Fontaine is a guy, just so you know. It's not a girl. Is that a street name? No, it's is a Is Cardi name. B the one that's saying about wings and pizza? Yes. No, that wasn't her, was it? Stop it. Why are you? It was her? Okay. Yeah, it was, All right. It was Cardi B uh, and Mac. Mac the Stallion. But anyway. Now, listen. Have I told so, you about Northwestern Tech? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Start a new career in the industry that is always essential, especially now in this time of year. It's getting hot outside. It's getting hot in here. Take off all your clothes. So call the heating and cooling in, in industry. Oh. Learn more today by visiting northwesterntech.edu. Nelly, Zoic Bell, stay tuned. Hi, I'm David Hall from Hall Financial. And at Hall Financial, we treat our clients like family. And our number one priority is giving each of our clients five-star service. Our passion for five-star service, combined with our expertise, allows us to find the best possible solution for refinancing your home loan. We take the time to focus on both the individual and the numbers. We're gonna walk you through the process and close your loan in half the time of our competition. Go to davidhallmortgage.com today. Welcome back to Belizean and Bell. Shimmy, shimmy, Coco Pub, give it to me now. Light it up and take a... Sean, that's you. That was you, Sean. Puff. Sean! Puff, pass it to me now, we go it. Come on, Sean. Not mad, you just disappointed. I don't know. 
Uh, Kenny said, I'm so sick of a professional team telling us we're not going to be good this year. That's like going to work and saying, I'm just not going to do good today. I wish it was that simple. I mean, does... I, I, I get your frustration. I wish it was that simple. Let me, I, I'm, I'm serious. With the Detroit Lions right now and, and the roster makeup, how on earth could you make this team good this year? And even if you drafted every single player that you wanted, okay, they're rookies who are going to make rookie mistakes. And some of those rookies also are not going to pan out and stay in this league. That happens to every team. So trust me, I, I, I get it. It sucks, especially when you think of what all these four teams are doing. But you have to remember the starting point. I had this conversation yesterday about somebody uh, with the Red Wings. And, and I said, he took over a disaster. You cannot, and, and this is what I tell people. You cannot hit every draft. Then you have things called salary cap. You can't fit that all in. It can't happen over the course of a year. So you know what you do? Instead of trying to just get golly gee good and get back to the glory days of nine and seven, you tear it all down to build it up and make it something better. God, it sucks. I don't like it. I really, I don't. But I would much rather be in this position today than what I've been in in my entire lifetime, where this franchise has grasped its straws our entire lifetime. They have. And if it doesn't work, that sucks. But again, the way they were operating wasn't working either. I have a general manager looking at me three years ago telling me that the Lions were this close. You know what I mean? I, I get it. Trust me. I'm frustrated as much as you are more so because there's a good chance that I'm older than you. But with that being said, you can't, I think you can go in and do your job, but not be in a position to win yet because your roster doesn't have the talent. So your job is to build that roster up and it might not be for a couple of years. It might not be three years, but dude, and I hope you know, I'm not preaching at you. I get your frustration. I am but you are preaching. You mm -hmm. are preaching. Sometimes people need to hear that. Yeah. But you're not really preaching, though. You're teaching. Ooh. You're teaching, Sean. Oh, thank you. you that, like was, that, that was good. You like that. Not really preaching, but you're teaching. Ooh. Yeah, you're not preaching. You're teaching. What the hell is wrong with our Wi-Fi in here today? This I don't know. Let me be the IT guy, too. I don't know. This is. I mean, you have one job, man. Make sure we have everything we need to have a successful show. You do. I'm here. Can you handle you the get, Wi-Fi? You get, here, you get here at 8 o'clock. You get here at 8 o'clock and do what? Crap. I get here at 7.45 and prep and do for what? the show. For your show. And do what? Uh, make sure that we have wonderful pictures like this. Duh. This guy here, bro. Joy, you want to know what you're going to have to do in a few weeks? That's right. What am I going to do in a few weeks? Well, you're going to have to put all the pictures that they want. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. You have to load them in, yep. right? And mm -hmm. remember, you think uh, you're the best of no training. <laughs> he did have training. He had Adam. I had Adam well, screaming at kind me. Of, but that's yeah. fine. That's still training. Regardless it was great of training. Kind of training you have made me into training. the man I am today. It made you better. That's right. Add all the cameras. Mm -hmm. You have to change the cameras mm -hmm. during the show. Yeah. And before the show. Yeah. Which is why it's supposed to be. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> Fifteen I played? minutes early. Fish, <clears throat> Fish, you're talking to me about running some technology. Do you know I played in front of a hundred thousand people? Over two million people over TV. Do you know I did that for seven plus years? Do you know I? Ooh, I Ooh, let you me think put me your name plate booth? up. You think me getting a booth and working some cameras <laughs> is learning a playbook from here to here? Tell you think me getting in there is gonna be. You know who you do listen did, to? You did listen you to Kennedy, right? Work yeah. Kennedy do you know what Kennedy technology? Said? Well, the Kennedy, I don't really she listen to Kennedy, but I listen. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. But, I, but I respect her Kennedy opinion. Just right. put on, Kennedy just put on Facebook, it was horrifying training. It was horrifying training? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's if that's said. horrifying, come to a training camp. Why, How so about that? We can run around cones? Huh? Come on. Oh, look at me run around cones. Come I on. can't believe you just said that. Come on. Come out there. Come out there. I'm going to tell you. Hardest training camp I've, I've ever experienced. Every day with me. No. Coach Lions, Caldwell once time at one no, time asked you guys to I had a homes. I had a uh I went into practice at two twenty five. No, I'm sorry, two twenty six, and when practice was over, I was at two sixteen. I lost ten pounds in one practice. Hardest practice I've ever been through. Physical, 
And all right, please come out there for for a training camp one day. Sign some waivers. Okay. Can get in the live drills. Okay. Can get in the live drill. Get in the open. Oh, yeah. What was what that? Raise your hand. Okay. And my hand is raised. And I was. I like said, raise your hand. Go ahead. Okay. I'd like to say I'll totally do that if you come out and grapple with me at Allegiance in Sterling Heights. I'm grappling with don't you. get me involved in that crap. Sean, yeah. you're supposed to have my back right now. I'm no, I'm, not, I'm saying no. I don't want to go. I'm not grappling you or anybody else, man. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's crap. I grapple my hamstring every day. You know what? It's so funny. When you and I text one-on-one, it's like, screw Joy. He doesn't know any. You're the best. <laughs> and now you're on the show in front of the cameras, and it's Joy Bell. I'm saying I'm not grappling with anybody. Don't throw me. You two can grapple until your heart's desired. I, I'm not. I'm not grappling anybody. No way. Why would I do that? You kidding me? Half the times I get down and play with the dogs, it takes me ten minutes to get back up. I don't need that in my life. No way. You have no idea how high it can fly. I am not grappling you or anybody else. You like. You need to know that, like, definitively. It's just not gonna. Happen. I trust you. You're number one always. Mm-hmm. But Joey's mm-hmm. falling to like number three or four, five, six. Adam's in front of him at how this about, point. How about how about this? Just take me off your list. Fine, I will. You have been blocked, blocked forever. Fish that out. <laughs> uh, Kenny followed up. He said, "I know we as fans can say it, but I don't want the organization to be saying it." You know the interesting thing. Thank you. In uh, fairness, in fairness, yes. and we've talked about this. Yeah, we have. They're not saying it. They're not going to come out and say, guys, we're going to suck next year. They're okay? not. Everything that they're doing shows you that they're going to suck next Everything year. Everything they're doing is telling you that we're, we're rebuilding. Yeah. Now, this let go, KJ. They're bringing in more players. We have to start from ground zero. We had to blow it up. We had to blow up something that was already blew up. Have you ever had to demo a demo? What's up, Art? Here's the thing, though. Why get excited for the season, then? If we're all going to mope around and say, oh, they're going to go forward, whatever. Because like, this is what we're going to see. It's... This is what we're going to see. All right. I want to see this... progress. All right. You know quiet. what I'm doing right now? I'm That's what you're going to see. Simulator for you. You're, you're going to see Art? progress. That's what you're going to see. But also what you're going to see is you're going to see some sparks throughout the season that say we can do this consistently throughout an entire season. We're going to be something special. I understand that even though we're getting these guys, the NFL injury rate is 100%. So even if we do get them and they're playing at a high level, it doesn't mean they're going to have them for their entire season. And, and so we're going to have to get more players who can come in and keep that, and they keep that same momentum going forward. It's always, this is the NFL. You get hurt. You know, what, you know what they say when you get hurt? What do they say? They say next man up. So when you get fired, it's the next man up. Somebody else is going to be in the booth. Learning how to move a camera. Yeah, and you'll probably button. be best on, friends I'm still with talking, them. Art. Raise your hand. Be respectful. Yeah. That strike number two. You got one more strike. <laughs> and so, what is that, Art? <laughs> put, it, put it on you, Art. <laughs> <laughs> what, Art? Like, I defend you when I'm on the phone with Chad. You come in here, and then you and you poop on me. I don't need you to defend you me. Poop on I don't me. need you to defend me at all. You, you guys love you to throw each other me. under the bus. It's so good. Like, and you do it so casually. Like, when I was talking to Chad about Joyke last night, right, says exactly. Art, Thank and you. when Joyke Joy goes, I defend you to Chad all the time. You guys, like, it's so effortless how you two throw each other under the bus. You know what? You Where's know who- Maz? Maz should be in here for a segment like this. Ooh, shorty boy. I catch Chad all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Brady's a bitch. <laughs> I didn't throw you under the bus. I would never do that. Oh, hey, a bus. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had that in you. Are that pretty good? Do it again. I just, hey, but put it on you when you do it. You know the show, the hook. I just don't understand. Tom Brady's a bitch. I love you, Chad. Give me a raise. <laughs> It's like Jerry Seinfeld and Rodney Dangerfield, all in one person. Oh my God! If you I'll guys do not, if you guys do not love the Belize in the Bell show, I don't know what's wrong with you. You know what I'm doing? Right? No, do you know what I'm doing right now? I, I'm serious. I'm such a loser. Are you right? doing a mock draft right now? Are I'm doing. Do- I'm doing a mock doing? draft right Pay now to prove it to, to you. No, I want to prove it to all of you right now. All right, we're about to take a break. We'll no. be back. Stay tuned. Sean no. Belize and Drake. Bell. I'm going to prove sports. a point. When we, how's that? When we Fish come back, aquarium. I'm going to prove a point. Fish in the aquarium. Art in the booth. It's better than Spin eating the hot the show. fire. <laughs> Spin the hot fire. You don't fumble the ball at work. Hey, Drake Bell, Sean Belize. See you guys next weekend. Hmm. Thanks, Mike. Oh.
Don't bounce so wait till it comes to New Zealand. For that Street, Street Exchange, downtown Fenton. I'm trying to find me a shirt. Ooh, look at these swimming shorts. What are you doing over there, Stick? I'm trying to find me a drink. Uh, ooh, look at these bonfire bitters. Ready for summer. Let's go. You know what, you guys, I'm I'm proving a point to to basically all of us right now, okay? I'm looking into the you, future. You can do this right now, wherever you are in right the comfort week. of your own What home, do you see, George? Okay? I see I see this booth empty. <laughs> in about another week and a half, two dick. weeks. <laughs> and, and we're going to have a beautiful young lady by the name of Kennedy as no, a new producer. That's, see, okay, I'm about to lose my shit because... Yeah. For some reason in this building, no one knows the difference between a producer and a director. I'm not the producer of the show, I'm the director. Kennedy's the producer. Kennedy wouldn't sit in here because she's so smart that she does the prep. I do the stupid stuff. Yeah, you do do the stupid stuff. That would stuff. be like me saying, hey, Joy, what was it like being the kicker for the Lions? I was actually was a kicker. They had me kicking punts. Oh, I was wow, like, tell first. us more. Yeah, I was. In college as well. All right, so you know. I want to. You guys can do this at home, okay? Th this is the capital that the Lions give, give have. Give them next the, um, the website so they can. It's profootballnetwork.com. Can you put that at the bottom of the screen? They have Art. the Lions picking number one last year, next year. They might, they might not. All right, can you get that up, please? Joyke, I traded down twice from number one. Mm -hmm. I traded to two and then to number six. Is I got football? the quarterback from USC, Slovis. Mm -hmm. Then. I, because I got the Jets' 23rd pick and Houston's uh, ex, extra pick, I got the edge from Ohio State, Zach Harrison. I mm. went linebacker, linebacker with 28 and 34 yeah. overall. And get this. Here, yeah. are my two, here are my two wide receivers. Yeah, you can see what app this is or website it is on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. What is it called? Profootballnetwork.com. Yeah, profootballnetwork.com. I got Drake com. London from Thanks, USC Art. catching passes from his college quarterback and David Bell – at wide receiver. That's all in the first 65 picks. There you go, Joik. Like, that's yeah. the draft capital that Brad Holmes has given yeah. us. Now, I'm not saying that Brad Holmes is going to flip number one to number two and all of Houston's picks next year yeah. and, and the Jets. But to that point, I also picked up during the draft, I picked up the Jets' number one next year, Houston's number one next year. That would mean that the Lions have four number ones for the 2023 draft. Hey, at least they have some number That's ones. That's the capital that they have right now. And and sometimes we use the, the word capital too loosely, okay? Let me try to take the screws to that and, and, and make sense for you. If I want to move up in a draft, there is a guy staring at me at, at number 20. This dude's going to be a stud. You know what I can do? What? I can use one of those number ones from 2023, and I can use, you know, our third round pick this year and go, we want to move up from 32. We're going to give you our number one pick next year because we're in love with Joyke Bell at number 20. Okay. You guys are going to suck this year probably. So we'll do that. I, that that's the position that he's putting them in right now. That's the definition of draft capital. It gives you the flexibility to move up or move down in a draft. Man, I love stick. Stick, stick is available at 31. Like the edge guy from Purdue, uh, George, whatever his name is. I want Stick on this team. He is exactly what we're looking for. We need that that guy to come from the edge along in concert with our Long, defensive tackles. Slinky. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer them our third-round pick this year and one of our first-rounders next year. Mm. That's right? Right. And, and it's, I don't know. You go, you know what, though? This does something to you. I think you doing these mock drafts is gonna come between your marriage. You have to, you have to relax, Sean. <laughs> you have to relax. He's obsessed. Obsessed, Sean. Sean. What's wrong? Every other, it's like I do the NHL mock draft or the NFL mock draft. It's like, hey, babe, come to dinner. Hold up, right babe. Uh, hold up, babe. I'll be there in a minute. I'm in the fifth round, and I'm, I'm really, hold I'm up, really babe. considering this trade offer from the Titans. It's great. Hi, Fish. When you do the mock dress, do you have the like the ten minute clock? No, you you, you, ten can, you can press fast. You can, yeah, and so okay. it, it, it's like a it blows by real fast. Yeah, I would be the one nerd to actually do the real draft. Take the whole three days. Okay, you can do Prime that. time ESPN. Stop it, Stop it. I'm a big I'm a big big believer in draft capital. Every would, everybody knows that's that how too. you build a team, and the Lions have a ton of draft capital. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Oh, God. I feel the breeze come through. Oh, God.
Hey, Adam, can you um, mind taking a step in the booth? I want to ask you something about the training. Oh about Please that booth training. Because not today. Can we just move on hey, to Adam, sports? Um, real quick. Will you consider, you think the job in there that Art is doing is tougher than uh, NFL training camp in the NFL season? I did. It's different. Do you, do you think it's more pressure? Do you think it's more pressure? I think uh, pressure-wise, um, I don't want to say they're the same, but that high volume pressure it's there in the booth but I'm I wouldn't say asking is it more I'm just asking is oh, it no, more not, a, not more not talking more. to the mic Adam. oh okay not more. Oh, hold on put, put it on fish good. put on fish uh, is, is it more fish, is it more is pressure talk oh I, I talk alright <laughs> well there's I mean pressure you see what Art's doing he's gotta put up the social media comments you gotta make sure everyone's on screen I mean it's, it's not just pressure. two buttons you gotta push the, you gotta make sure all the you gotta make sure you know what cameras watch. No, that's not what I asked you though, Adam. I asked you I asked you, is it more pressure? If someone puts their legs on the table, you gotta change the camera to get them in frame. A hundred and twenty yards length. Adam, your no first what, your first training yes, camp. You can speak from experience. Your first training camp or being in the booth with art. Oh, first training camp. Yeah. No, no, no. Being in the booth by yourself with first training camp in the NFL. Dude, obviously NFL. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's what? not even close. Where do you get that I'm comparing the NFL to doing my No, game? no, no, no. What I'm saying is, you said it's a lot of pressure in there, as if I'm not, I guess. Are we having a biggest dick contest? Sure, you've had more pressure. You played for hundreds of thousands of people on Yeah, Rocket. I mean, you can ask, ask any one of your exes. I always have more pressure. Well, I got six, seven kids for a reason. <laughs> well, Shot, why is your head turn? You gotta make sure each people are set for the three oh, cam, sorry, the two cam, the single Jim, cam. I'm sorry. Are we having an issue with Facebook with people commenting on Facebook? Yes. Thanks, yeah. Art. Yeah, one job to do. Okay, that's but that's <laughs> not Art's job. <laughs> They're literally popping thank, up right thank, here. Thank you, Art. Oh my thank god. Thank you, Art. I'm Put so the camera back on me. You. Jenna, thank you. Jenna Newman, thanks for coming to my DM and let me know that something's wrong with Facebook. What do you want and me to do? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Strike three. Chad, get him out of here. Get yeah, put me coach. on Morningwood. I had so much Check. better time. Huh. I want to go to Morningwood. Go back to Morningwood. Give us I will. one point. No. Oh. Sean, blame your boy. No. Blame your boy. Yeah. Oh, a couple of did you, did you just a Sticks going, nah, y you guys Nobody keep wants you. Art. <laughs> sticks Art. over here what going, Art. No one wants you. He's fine, Stick is right here saying they don't want you on the show. <laughs> Someone else produced the show. I'm out. Bye, Art. Hey, you're not a producer. Remember, you're a director. Damn. I hate when people in here you can't get the producer. <laughs> don't and use my words against me. <laughs> Trish. <laughs> no, I don't need to get out of here, Stick. I never quit. <laughs> Stick, I oh, want to see you. You never produce. quit. Never. Look Tell at me in my eyes. You'll never get me out of here. They're both peacocking hey, right hey, now. You never That's quit. An awesome I'll Kennedy. never quit. How's Trish doing? She's great. We're still married. Great. Oh. Never quit. Oh, no. I slept with the raccoon last night, but we're great. <laughs> Was it next to the possum? Shut. <laughs> Jenna's over here snitching on me and then staying, saying Anything I need to stay. Goes on this show. Can we talk about a fight, a real fight last night? Oh, oh God. Lynn Wright unhinged. This is absolutely unhinged. It's not getting back it's on the epic. rail today. Listen, Holy listen, crap. they came and said epic producer. Can I tell you guys about Sun RV Resorts? I just got back from vacation and I need another vacation. This is, this is just draining. Well, you're growing on Tuesday. Thanks. It's Thanks, not Sean. exactly a vacation, but yeah, I am gone yeah, on Tuesday. Gone. Sun RV Resorts has over 160 RV and camping resorts in the U.S. and Canada. Guests can enjoy water parks, lazy rivers, mini golf, restaurants, bars, and even Wi-Fi if they want to stay connected. With locations from the Florida Keys to Myrtle Beach to San Diego Bay and Petoskey, guests can enjoy the outdoors at a Sun RV mm. resort. Uh, Joy, yes. you've said it. Many people here have said it. Uh, you have it. to take care of those trenches, right? You got to take Lions care of the trenches. The Lions are doing just that. Just I would that. say things, Steve said it earlier, things are coming along quite it's, nicely with you. that line. And we'll talk uh, about it when we come back. Joy Bell. Oh, a surprise for you, too. Sean Belegian and a surprise. This is Woodward Sports. Surprise.
I'm looking to bring on another HVAC tech right now. We are recruiting five to 10 techs a month. We're looking to grow and expand. Every new tech we hire is from Northwestern Tech. The hands-on training is fantastic. They're always my first call. We love hiring Northwestern Tech grads. They come out trained and ready to work. Our program is only 10 and a half months and our next classes are starting soon. So why wait? I'm looking to hire. I'm looking to hire. Hire a graduate of Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Do what you were doing, Joey. Go ahead. Do it on camera. You did it first, so you do it. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's what you do. I don't know. Just do. forget it. That's what you do. This is a Friday show on a Thursday. Jesus. I wish it was Friday. I hey, we to got see a you fight in the National Hockey League that happened last night. I wish yeah, it was well, a Friday. I promise we're going to get to that. That was awesome, Fish. No doubt about Fish it. Fish is the new producer. Uh, Steve asked a good question. Where does Tyrell Crosby fit in? I'm going to give you a little secret. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to give you a little secret. I think you and I talked about this before. No, we haven't. When they would do their draft shows, when they would do their draft shows um, out at the Allen Park facility, and we would be broadcasting live at the draft show, what the Lions would do years running is the current players that they brought out were going to be guys that were going to be in the spotlight the next year. They weren't guys at the time that were exactly – you know, quote unquote, household names yet. But like they brought out Tracy Walker. They brought out Tyrell Crosby. They brought out Miles Killebrew. Guys that maybe weren't household names, but by the time next year started, you expected a bigger role. They expected a bigger role, et cetera, et cetera. And Steve just asked a great question. Where does Tyrell Crosby fit on that line now? Here's what I don't know, okay? And Joyke, you know this better than anybody, so I know I'm preaching to the choir with you. Mm-hmm. What one coaching staff sees in a guy might not be what the other coaching staff sees within a guy. They might look at a guy and say, he's a Bob Quinn, Matt Patricia guy, okay? I, I don't know what they think about Tyrell Crosby. I don't. Tyrell Crosby was supposed to be, he was to, supposed to take a step up. It didn't happen. That doesn't mean that you throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? <laughs> Jonah Jackson, I think everybody knows, young and <laughs> still, thank you, still, still, you know, developing and, and all of that. So, Steve, that's a great question. I, I don't know what these guys think of Tyrell Crosby. Death. Two years ago, he was supposed to be one of those guys that they expected to go like that. And what happened? It didn't exactly happen. Hmm. So, I, a lot I don't, of things... does that mean he get back in line? I don't know. Hey, worst case scenario, he'll provide death. Uh, real quick, we have a comment. Of, <coughs> bless you. Is it, is it from Facebook? Can Kennedy join the show more often? We might be uh, making some changes soon where Kennedy will be able to join the show more often. Don't, that, don't you insinuate that you're going to be gone out of here, mister? No, she graduates on the 8th and I starts on the 10th. I just didn't. Okay. So is she going to be in here? So legitimately, is she going to be in here like next week? Yeah, it was in the group chat excited. that, that makes me you happy. guys don't read. Yes. Thank you, Fish. What are you talking about? I knew that she graduated this month. Congratulations. One on half the of the show was like, when is she starting? The other half is like, who's Kennedy? <laughs> Y'all forgot about the people who really put in work on this show. Things are about to change. How dare you? Things are about to change. Who's who's Did you say, Yes, idiots. I'm not going anywhere now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank I, you, I Kennedy. I deserve that. So <laughs> I knew you were coming back. I didn't know it was like next week, though. I love Kennedy. Yeah, she's, she's great. the best. We mm-hmm. appreciate her. She's the best. Well, Sean, she if you would have saw the, the group text, you would have seen it. Kennedy's my favorite. So Kennedy's my favorite. So Frank Ragnow, um, I've been calling him the best center in the league for uh, a while now because I believe it, and the Lions are paying him like the best center in the league. Mm. My man got himself a big payday. Look at those knees. Deserves it. <laughs> Absolutely deserves Little it. Those knees holding up 300 pounds. He's a big dude. With no knee braces on. You know what? We could go hunting with him. You know he likes to hunt and fish. We could, we could go hunting. Frank. Ooh, ooh, ooh close your mouth. Hey, Frank, and TJ. You want to go hunting Close sometime. your mouth, Art. Yeah. Give me a jingle, dude. We can, we can do that. But um, I, I, I like this offensive line a lot, and it starts with your anchor, Ugh. and that's Frank Ragnow. Ugh. That, hey. You know what, man? I would have loved to run. I would have loved to run behind this O-line that we're about to put together. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Staff are out there getting loose. 
I love look watching that stuff. Look, just sat down on it. Couldn't do anything. Hands inside. Grab, grab the jersey. Get underneath the shoulder pads and don't let go. Just don't extend your arms. Wow, he's such a good ah! center. He's such a good center. Maybe we should play him at guard. Oh, look at that. Fucking morons. Sat down on it. <laughs> Come on, man. Lifting these men. Up. Just... Man, you're too small, 9'3", hey, you're too wow. small. Hey, that, wow, that might be the best center in the game. And I think we should just, try he, him he, at guard. He just, he waved the white flag. Come on, Miller, you can't wave the white flag. But that's what a good center would do. Steve said, Ragnow, Decker, Sewell, no excuses for the next quarterback. And you know what? It's only mm. going to make the development of Jonah Jackson that much quicker. I mean, I, I want you guys to think about this. Do you remember a couple of years ago, Joyke, whether people want to admit it or not? Not. Do you know what the conversation was? What? Do we, expend, do we extend Taylor? I don't know about Taylor. What? I don't know about Taylor Decker. And no. then you know what happened? You moved the best center in the game back to center, and you know what happened? Oh, oh my goodness gracious, all of a sudden, Taylor looked like a pro bowler again. Mm. And that, it's amazing how that happens. You know, actually playing guys in the right position – and, and now you add Sewell on the other side to Steve's point. Well, what's that going to do for a young player like Jonah Jackson, who, you know, again, I'm just telling you what people have said. All the tools are there. He just has to get them all out of the toolbox, get that experience, develop. What's it? It's going to speed up his process. It should be. All of a sudden, you're looking at a pretty damn good line, man. And it was That's interesting to hear all the national – television talking heads talking about that mm -hmm. about you know the lions putting together one of the best lines in the league i'm telling you and that's something that we've never uh, i've never witnessed i don't think i've ever had what's up art i i just respect him because he played through a fractured throat do you guys remember when that happened yeah he's a beast it's was that against green bay yes yeah yeah it's it's three bay. quarters with, a, with fractured a fractured throat, throat. Oof. A fractured throat. I didn't know you could break that. I, I really. I didn't. I never it. heard of that. I, and then finish the finish the game, right? And I, we joke when we say this, but that's that gorilla mentality that I always huh. think of. I'm, I'm not even joking now. It's times where you have players who go through certain, you know, uh, they might go through a separated shoulder, they might go through um, something like severe chronic tendonitis in the knee, which is excruciating I almost had to retire because of it but to play with a fractured throat and finish the game I take my head off to you amen to that I take my head off to you and that's the type of mentality that he brings to the offensive line and he's the leader on the offensive line and the other old linemen are going to have to follow suit and have that same mentality if they want to get things done the way they want to get things done moving forward I'm telling you now, if this O line plays with that same aggression that he's that he plays, that same toughness, that 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 grit that that Coach Dan Campbell spoke of when we had the luncheon, and um, he's going to have that all over the building, um, just grit because we're going to need that in order to change things around here because it's much needed. This is this is the mentality. I love the direction we're going, even if it doesn't work. It's something different. I appreciate what they're doing. I appreciate his passion for the city and also for the team. So um, this is Joyke Bell, Sean Belizean, the Legion of Bell Show. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tapped in. Gang, gang. I'm looking to bring on another HVAC tech right now. We are recruiting five to 10 techs a month. We're looking to grow and expand. Every new tech we hire is from Northwestern Tech. The hands-on training is fantastic. They're always my first call. We love hiring Northwestern Tech grads. They come out trained and ready to work. Our program is only 10 and a half months and our next classes are starting soon. So why wait? I'm looking to hire. I'm looking to hire. Hire a graduate of Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. Northwestern Tech. If you, you could only hear you can't please two, everyone. If you, yeah, you like, can't. Honestly, even in the forty seconds of break, if you could only for that's for like, like fifteen. Here's the, it doesn't stop. It felt like ten. That's seconds, what you're Sean. gonna have to do, Sean, George. Sean, I, I don't know how you deal with it, Sean. I will be losing my 
Like, if I was you, I'd be like that dad driving me. Don't make me come back there, you two. Hang on. Don't make you me can both beat me up. So Gotta I'm load not, up not, the commercial. You know, my dad could just backhand us in the car. You can both beat me up. So not, What's that fish, fish can beat me up. I, I'm not. You're going to no have to way. load up the commercial. They're going to have to load up the commercial, find the right one, make sure you don't double play them back to back. Which I just did, by the way, which I can't wait for that text because you sprung it on me that we were doing a break. Here's my question, though. Sean, have you and I ever gotten No, 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 I want to talk about the Olympics. I want to talk about the Olympics. Oh, you are. And the things that's going on. Oh, you need a lower third for that or a picture of the Olympics. Let me put that up for you. Yeah, please. Thank you. You're going to have to Google pictures when the it's, talent wants stuff that's not already there. You're going to have to go off it's and funny, Google Sean it. It's funny, Sean, I've never gotten into While funny. having you guys on the screen, making sure you guys don't you know move from your camera you positions. About the screen, and we're talking about the Olympics. <laughs> While the you Olympics are on are, a now, screen. Now, now, I, now I am going to put my... Do you know what these guys were arguing about during the break? Stupid stuff. They were arguing about an 11-minute segment or a 12-minute. It, it, it was 11 minutes. It was 12 minutes. It was 11 minutes. Who was arguing, though? Arden, Arden Joy. I wasn't arguing. I just I said a point, and I left at that right but now i get bitched at because i went to and break you know what's funny you know what's funny <laughs> my god the commercial should have already been loaded no because when it you spring it up somebody ready. you literally it said we're gonna take a quick break ready. you know what i could just take the camera off of you why am i putting the camera on you sean and i never get into arguments ever Be look at who's the problem child because because you respect sean exactly and, his and you don't res you don't respect me oh right. don't get the little you soft don't core issue don't, here. You don't, you don't respect me your ass. <laughs> Instead of yelling, I'm gonna talk cool, comment. You know what Listen, you need, Art is a massage. Sean, Sean, Art doesn't respect me as a co-host. Oh, bullshit. He doesn't respect me. <laughs> and you see, and look how he's talking. We have kids watching this show. He's just in there cursing. Oh, Money in the swear I'm jar. I'm sorry, kids. Well, this is the internet. I Art, swear more than anybody. Art, Art, Art I'm put sorry. Money in the swear jar. I'm so Money in the swear jar, Art. I'm so this is the internet. Is, this is I don't, cable. I don't like Art. I'm a cool, calm, and collected guy. Kennedy Sean, just announced like, she hold will hold not be here on Monday or any day after that. She's had enough. Kennedy, oh, no. Fair point her. Kennedy, no. We need you here because you're going to keep this place nice and calm. We need... It's too much Hmm, wonder why that here. is. And thank you, Fish. It's too much estrogen in that booth over there. To and out the door. Must be nice. Soon you're going to have to... Do it yourself or have no one. I Tell just me. want a sub. Oh, that does sound good. I want a big, like on wheat. Oh, I just, I need a sub desperately right now. You know, now. it's funny, man. Fish never has my back. I just want that. I want to set it for the record. Fish never has my back. He always has Art's back. He never defends me. That's right. And all the time. We share well, an office enough. together. You should hear what he says about you. Hear, you. Yeah, pretty, <laughs> you should hear. And I'm I pretty, got I'm, his back. Listen, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you guys share a lot of things together. Oh, boy. What, what are you insinuating by that? Huh? That y'all share a lot of time with one another. That is correct. I do a lot for you, Joyke. I give you the prep. I, no, 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 I give no, you no, your no, reads. Not, I give you your video said. sometimes, that's too. Not what I said, sometimes fish. I'll give you full screen fish. and Instagram. That's not what I said. That's not what I, that's not <laughs> what I said, full Fish. Full screen and Instagram. That's not what I said. I said you never defend me when it comes to me. Art. That's what I said. I didn't say anything about nothing else. I just said that. Th just what like you and Sean. What about It's me the Sean? same thing. You're and saying. Sean defends you and. and so not, not as much as he should. He's Switzerland. Maybe if I wore a Lions jersey for a couple years. You know what? I'm coming in in a Bears jersey on Monday. I'm going to really tur turn the heat up. Do you even have a Bears jersey? Do you even have a Bears jersey? Oh, I thought they were coming after me for child support. <laughs> no, that's the ambulance. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about... The Olympics. That was scary. <laughs> but if you would have saw his face of worry, like he really thought they was coming to get him. I heard the sirens. I was like, got it, got a blast. <laughs> you better hide under that boot. I, I would have walked him right in. Hey, Art, they here for you. <laughs> hey, under sticks. The hey, you ask why hey, the show's number one. This is back. why the show's number one. <laughs> what's, he, what's he talking to sticks? He's in guys. the back. No serpent at stick. <laughs> Did you guys, yeah, I don't know if you heard it at home. So sirens and everything went past this. I don't, I don't know if it fed into the microphone. Mm -hmm. And our eyes got big. I thought they were coming after me for child support. Hey, hey. Dude, you're gold. Definition of mm -hmm. if you can't take care of them, don't make them. All of mine are taken care of. Walmart shorts and t-shirts for days. Mm -mm. No, 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 not if you owe child support. <laughs> And not take care of All right, so what did you want to You're get like into? Old Navy so you're like old Navy So we're Olympics. talking about the Olympics. They banned the Black Lives Matter um, shirts. You can't wear it at any ceremonies. Basically trying to silence 
the athletes that are participating in the Olympics, they're trying to silence them. And was that a, so did they put that specifically? made it clear that if you make any basically political stance you're done here's what we have to realize though the olympics aren't in america they're in tokyo and there's different rules in tokyo it's uh, yeah it's the ioc tokyo. It's, the, it's the it's the ioc mm. it is it is about the ioc <laughs> so don't participate easy or go win and wear your shirt anyway and just deal with the consequences well after they're that. gonna take away your medal so uh, that's something you fought for for four years. You're gonna do all this training, and then whoop, there goes your mental. Hey, so, uh, so, so, would you rather be silent and go to sleep knowing the night, knowing that that medal is gonna keep you warm, or would you want to keep, I don't know, or would you want to bring some awareness to what's really going on in the country or around the world? I don't know. Ask the athlete. Huh? Ask the athlete. That's if they're gonna to play, them. then they're gonna play. If they're not, and if they're, not, and if they're gonna protest and not play. Yeah, some athletes play. that are willing to risk it all. To make sure their voices are heard for the people who don't have a voice. And you have people who say, you know, I want this medal. This is more important than that type. And I'm not saying it, you know, it's their choice. It's their choice, whatever they decide to do. I'm sensing a little tension between fish. No, and... no, it's not. No, it's no tension because he's talking about one person and how hard they worked their whole life versus how hard we worked as a whole culture for hundreds of years. Yeah. So you have to, you have to decipher which one is more important to you. And I can't decipher that for you. It's up to you. Do no. you think that uh, some athletes are are scared to speak out because of what is happened? That, like it, it, sometimes I don't think it's fear. It might be fear for some, but for other athletes, it might just be lack of knowledge. So they don't understand it enough to be able to make a um, what we say as a educated decision on how they need to go forward. They have to do some research. They have to do more studying, and then once you get all the information, you make your you you make your decision based off what you know. And so that's what it is. And so, if I was going to Tokyo, me knowing what I know, I will go and I will win the, the gold medal, and then I'm going to do what I want to do on that podium because I work for it. And if I decide to sacrifice my medal, that's what I decide to do. I'm not everybody else. I'm not. Here's so. my issue. I'm going to say this, and if I'm the bad guy, so be it. No. I'm down with the cause. I'm not mm. down with blacklivesmatter.com. I, I it agree with you. It is a proven, absolutely, yep. positively political thing. Yes. 1,000%. It is. I mean, anybody that denies that, and it's funny because if you do the fact check thing, you can, you can do this at home, okay? Because So, you, so it, you're, down, a, you're, you're down with Black Lives Matter, but you're not down with Black Lives Matter. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not com. down with that at all. It, it, it's political, period, end no, of no, story. No, 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 no. So you have BlackLivesMatter.com. Yes. Right? You have that. And that's political. That is one thousand one thousand percent political. Anybody who and, denies and then, it, you're not and then I'm not. It, we can. That's a whole other topic. I want to stop. I want to. I want to stop seeing people be killed by bad cops. Period. Right. Okay. Period. End of story. And but one it, is too many. It shouldn't happen. Period. It shouldn't happen. But it's, it's deeper than that, though. It's deeper than that. And you have to go on through it. Go into everything else that we we 1, talked about. To the yeah. The, it's just the. So my, so my issue is, and this is where I agree with the IOC, unfortunately, BLM, mm. because of the website, because of the lady that started it, I mean, do a little research on the Act three Blue. The three ladies. The three ladies. Do a, do a little yeah. research on Act Blue. Think, think about, let's think about, let's mm. think about what is Act Blue. Think about that. Well, Republicans mm. are red and Democrats are... Money uh, goes to Act Blue. Yeah. And do you know how people excuse that away? Do you know how people excuse that away? This, this is how twisted our society has become. Do you know how people excuse that away? Well, it's not like they're giving it to Biden. They're just giving it to every liberal-leaning thing. Well, that's the whole point of it. It's called Act Blue. That's how they... Wait, yeah, no, look up the fact check stuff. It's in their own words. While they're denying it, they're also telling you that that money is going to liberal-leaning politics. That's politics. No, it's, it's, it's deeper than that. It's, it's deeper than that, Sean, but that's a whole nother topic. That's a whole nother show. Well, no, that's, that's my point. If, yeah. if, if we have well. this conversation and we don't say that it hasn't been, become political, but, 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 but we that, are being disingenuous and false. No, I'm not, because I, that's why I asked Art specifically, did they say Black Lives Matter shirts specifically? He said no. P 
political, no, anything political. One hundred percent. I understand and so, that. And so I understand that they're not trying to silence us, but they're trying to silence us. Anything dealing with political. No, 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 no doubt. Uh, uh, yeah, I but, don't agree with the political stuff. I don't I think don't. wanting to save black people or any people yeah. from being killed is political. I do think that Black Lives Matter is political. No, I don't right. think that. Let me check that. I know that. And that's yeah. that's the issue. That That's the issue at hand. I mean, it, it's, it, it's become political. But if you choose to do this, or you choose... I stand behind you 100%. Oh, uh, I have a correction. 100%. I have a correction. My apologies. The International Olympic Committee uh, is basically saying what is allowed and not as uh, allowed. Uh, more generic words like peace, respect, solidarity, inclusion, and equality will be allowed on T-shirts. But the slogan Black Lives Matter will be banned from athlete apparel at the Summer Olympics. So it is, it I, is. I retract my statement. Joik, it's not just about all political movements. It is just uh, going Whether after Black Lives Matter. Whether people wanted to admit so it or us. not, it has become that. It's just Black Lives just Matter. Just the way it is. Uh, that doesn't and they mean... Consider that, and they consider that being political. Uh, it, it's just banning Black Lives Matter. That's what they said. Like, they're... They, I'm not saying like you could wear a Trump hat or whatever. I don't know. No, They're I just mean, so no, no, no. So because I want people to have an understanding. Yeah. That it's crazy because we we go out we we do the Black Lives Matter, and then you go and you do research. You find out that Black Lives Matter was started by three women who don't particularly care for black men. I don't even think a black man can work in the BLM. Um, LOC, I don't think they can work there. And if they did work there, they have to be they have to be gay. And I think even on the I think even on the logo on the BLM uh, webpage you go to it, it just has a picture of a woman with her two kids. Um, just kind of excommunicating the black man from the family. And so if you go and do research, look at it, and then you so I agree with Sean where I say I don't agree with BLM dot com. I I don't. Do I think black lives matter? Yes. But just because I believe that doesn't mean I agree with what they're doing at BLM.com. You got it. Because so, BlackLivesMatter.com is yeah, political. It is. Like, very don't political. lie to yourself. Like, just do your research. And, th and that's what I mean political. when I say when you go to, to these Olympics, and this is my take, when you go to these Olympics, do your research. Yep. Do your own research. Get your own facts. Look it up. Look at it. See with your own eyes. I like what Dion said. Exactly, Joy. Don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness. In this case, they don't need the forgiveness either. You know what, Joyke? Honestly, you I did this. You, no, you did the Tommy Carlos. You put the fist up. Yeah. Uh, you have my support. He'll, uh, 100%. he'll be a chance. He'll be one hundred percent. And he'll be. He'll always be known for that. You got my support one hundred percent, man. You Not that me, you need it. No, it's just you know. You tell me that the person who won the Olympics in I don't know fifty or fifty two, whenever. You tell me the person who who, who won the Olympics then, or sixty two. Which sport? Oh God. Say the hundred yard dash. There were no, there were no, um, uh, 100, 100 <clears throat> meter. I mean, it was yard dash, it was dash then. There was no Olympics in 70, 62. All right, when was the Olympics? Sorry, what year? 64. I 64. have no idea. 64. One right. last thing regarding all of this the Olympics continue to ban athletes' protests and could punish athletes who choose to protest you, anyway. But that means uh, Can raising you a that art. I'm sorry. Yeah, hear. you can't raise a fist. You can't kneel during mm -hmm. the national anthem. Uh, and you if you do, you could be actually sent home. See, I here's the issue that I have with that is not political. It's not. Sorry. I, I have an issue with that. I, I do. I, you know, but Joy, and I'm glad that we have these conversations because sometimes they're hard conversations to have. I think for two reasons. Motion gets involved. And number two people not taking the time to see how these things work become involved. I or mean, to see it from another's perspective. Right. It, it's, yeah. So I, both things can be true. I can look at you, Joy, and say, Joy, you're having a march this weekend at, at, at Belle Isle. I, can I go? I, I, I'd like to support you. Seriously, mm -hmm. I, I want to be there to support you, not just because you're my friend, mm -hmm. but you know what? I think it's the right thing to do. Yeah. But at the same time, if you say, hey, man, why don't, why don't you make a donation to Black Lives Matter? No, nah, it's not going to happen. Mm. Don't know what to tell you. To, mm -hmm. Sorry, act blue. Win mm -hmm. red. I mean, What's up, fish? we know what these things are doing. Yeah. What's up, Hi, fish? fish. The reason they're doing that is because they want the Olympics to be about the athletes and about the actual games, not sure, an athlete protesting. No, and, and I, I understand their point, yeah. but if it were me, 
I, I would say fair point. If you want to take my Olympic gold medal away, go ahead. This means that much to me. This is a platform for me to make a statement and say I don't agree with this, yeah. and I'm not going to apologize for it's it. The, if you want to take honestly, my gold it's just medal another away, platform. So the Olympics is just another platform. So what's the difference between me going on social media and putting down what I feel using this platform, which is honestly is bigger than the Olympics? Then me going to the Olympics where the athletes are actually the ones that's bringing people to it, not the Olympics itself. Is the Olympics still what, kind of what, like what, like what it was back in the 90s? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, is it just as big? Because I, no. I have been. No, 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 no. That's it's, what, it's, that's it's, what I'm talking about. Its popularity about. has waned yeah, so that's, much. It's, that's, it's, what it's, that's what I'm like talking I, about. We talked about it a few weeks ago. I, I'm, I'm going to use me as an example. I'll watch when the, hun- the 100 is on. Yes. I'll watch some of the basketball. I don't even watch much of the Bad boxing asking. anymore. I don't. I don't really watch too much of the basketball um, since the dream team. Um, yeah, here's my thing: is that I don't think that this is just an America thing. But then at, at, there's some points where I think I do. But it, you have to look at China and all the civil unrest happening there. There's civil unrest happening all across the country. Um, Joy and Sean, do you think that this is a targeting America thing since Black Lives Matter was created in America? No. Uh, and, and I'll tell you why. Because you've seen similar movements in particular all over Europe in the past year. Like, I know London, there's some big time. I see you shaking your head. There's some big time issues there. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you and this. people are becoming more aware of, of terrible things that have been happening, maybe right under our noses that we just never noticed. So You see what that. Jenna said? Jenna said, use your smile to change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. Can we start doing that on this show, please? Once again, I operate at a, at a very low vibration and having negative oh. thoughts. And, you know, we, we hear something like that, and then he comes out with a negative comment like, you so good on the show. What is this vibration? You just, bro, the problem do you is. Know, do, you know, do, you, do you even understand that? Go look it up. You're there. operating at a low vibration, dude. Go look it up. You sound like the turtle in Finding Nemo. All right, listen. No, I, I told like you Master guys Slim. yesterday, didn't I? You should have listened to me. I gave you a, fr- I gave you a free bet yesterday. I told you what was going to happen in that Capitals-Rangers game last night. There were going to be a bunch of fights. I didn't know that it was going to be fights like that to start the game, but I told you right here <laughs> yeah. that there were going to be a bunch of fights. You could have bet on that. I would have taken the over. Somebody told me the over-under on fights was three. There were three fights two seconds in. You won already, baby, and that's what you can do at my bookie. Baseball, hockey, basketball season so long, up to 400 potential matches in a month. You can make each and every one matter by having skin in the game with mybookie.ag. Now, whether mm. you're placing a wager on your favorite team, player, or maybe how many fights happen in a game, my bookie gives you the best odds and tons of options to make all your favorite sports a hell of a lot more exciting. Mm. Stanley Cup playoffs. Guys, it's only four days away, right? Wait, five days away. (laughs) Take advantage of the odds of the Stanley Cup playoffs or hit the MyBookie Casino for the full-fledged experience where weekly blackjack tournaments can give you and your friends a crack at prizes of up to $50,000. Go to mybookie.ag, sign up now, use our promo code Woodward to get your first deposit match up to $1,000. Let them know we sent you, so use our promo code Woodward if you can't remember that, to get that free deposit bonus and start your day off with a W. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Kennedy said, please put up pictures of Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson of the Washington Capitals, I've known him since he was 16 years old. One of the nicest guys. If you met him, I'm not joking, you would walk away going, wow, wow. Is there something wrong with guy, that guy? He is so nice. But boy, when he goes on the ice, something flips. We'll talk about it next right here on Woodward Sports. Hey guys, I'm D-Mac. Hey guys, I'm Pilar. That was a little slow. Right. Hi, I'm D-Mac. I wasn't ready, I was doing this. Hi, I'm D-Mac. Hey, I'm Pilar. I'm Maz. You're lit. Hi, I'm D-Mac. Hi, I'm Pilar. <laughs> I'm Maz. We suck. You now. suck. Catch us Monday to Friday, 3 to 5. Every day right here on The Hook. On Woodward Sports Network.
Unbelievable. I'm not doing no fucking promotion. They're, they're arguing oh. about time again. They're arguing about time no again. Uh, hey. Yes. Oh. I'm not doing no fucking promotion. <laughs> joint put my money in the swear the jar. So glad in the swear you could join us. I'm not doing it. Well, you can't put crypto in the swear jar. It's invisible. On Woodward Sports, uh, did you see this last night, Joy? I And I know people today get all up in arms about this, and I watch hockey commentators. This is terrible. <laughs> is we, it the, we can't, the Russa? We can't have this. The hockey game last night between the Washington Capitals and the New York Rangers. Let me know when you have the video ready, Art. Uh, this is how the game started. Do you guys want to talk over it, or would you like from me? <laughs> I'm actually enjoying it right now. Let me enjoy this. You know. Did you see Chara? Look at 33. First of all, he's a beast. Art, you would love him. Yes. He's six foot eight. He's uh, literally 522 years old. And he's also like an eighth degree MMA guy. He's like one of those guys, right? Yeah. So what happens, Joyke, let me explain to you what happens. Minutes before that game started, you're getting ready. You're go going up. Yeah. I look at you and I'll go, you want to go when the puck drops? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Center looks at the other center. You want to go in the puck drops? Yep. You want to go in the puck drops? Yep. So what happens is those three start fighting, right? So you have three fights right there. Chara skates over to the other defenseman, 33. And you can see, you can see him go like this, meaning, do you want to go? Do you want to make it? Do you want to make it four? The guy wanted no part of Chara. And that's a very smart decision. Charles, Man, let me would, see. Play it back. I didn't Char see that. Yeah, watch it. It's it's. I didn't see that it's, part. It's hysterical, Art. If you could play the video again, take your time, Art. Because Chara comes over, as Tammy said, Chara felt felt left out. As 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 the, that guy was too big. That's my point. Now watch thirty three, the defenseman. He's in the back. So there's the three. Now watch thirty three. He's at center ice right now. Now look at him skate over to the other defenseman. See what he's doing? Yeah. You want some of this? No, nah, man, I'll pass. Thanks anyway. <laughs> no, nah, I'll no. Yeah. We'll let those three fight. We'll let those three. And this was one of those things that the night before, Tom Wilson, the above forementioned Tom Wilson, who yeah. has a reputation in this league, literally body slammed a guy in the game. Yeah. So the Do they get fined for that? The Do Ranger, they get fined for that? No, the Rangers thought that he would get he got a five thousand dollar fine for that. The Rangers thought he was going to get suspended, so the Rangers got so pissed off, they sent out a press release yesterday saying, guess we're going to have to take things into our own hand, and oh, by the way, the director of safety, George Peros, you should be fired. You're, you're unfit for your job, okay? And you know there's a lesson to be learned there, what? and I bet you, as an athlete, you're going to agree with me. You want to know how you can settle things? How? Let the players police it themselves. They'll take care of it. You know what's crazy? They'll take care of it. You know what's crazy? How much did they get fired right there? Well, we don't know yet. We're, we're going to find that out. But the, the incident from the night before was a $5,000 fine. Yeah. And that's what got the Rangers so pissed and what, off. What was the incident before? The fight well, before? Like I told you, Tom Wilson literally body slammed a guy. Like uh -huh. took him by his hair, body slammed him. $5,000 fine. And you know what else happens? Yeah. Here's the beautiful thing about hockey. Yeah. And I guarantee you Willie knew this. Yeah. He knew his first shift, somebody was going to come after him. He knew it. It wasn't going to be his second shift. It wasn't going to be his third shift. He knows his first shift. Joyt Bell's going to come after him. And you know what? He was there to answer the bell. Dude jumps him. He made the mistake of jumping the wrong guy. And Tommy messed his shit up. Beautiful. And I hear people, what a disgrace. This is terrible. Everybody there was a willing combatant. Did you see anybody there? You know what Char did? Char skates up to the dude, sees he doesn't want to fight, skates away. Everybody yeah. went. That was a choice that all of them made. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's beautiful. I it's, love it. Absolutely you know love it. And, that, and and you know what? I love it too. But you know what I don't love? Why can they do that in hockey, but we can't do that in football? We we're barbarian. We're barbaric. We can't do that. This is what we're start suspended. So watch. This is the incident Thank from you. the night before. Watch 43. He just laid on top of that guy, threw a punch. Right. So, the good teammate. Yeah. That he is, he jumps on him. Isn't that great? I love it. I love it. And then you get in there, 
And you let them and fight. And look at Tommy slam him down. You're messing with the wrong boy. Don't you jump on me and expect that I'm going to show you any mercy. I give no quarter to no man. And that's that's my thing. boy, Willie. That's God what I'm bless saying. You. You, we love stuff like that, but we do that in football. We're barbarian. That's not the way the game is played. Blah, 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 blah. Baseball, same way. But go to basketball and go to the NFL. They treat it totally different. That's my boy. I, I treat it totally different. Look, look, Willie kind of went did you, loony on did that. You like, did you like the rumble he knows in the he palace? Answer the bell. Yeah. Did you like that? Yeah, I mean. It, how did it, but, but how did the media blow that up? But this happens oh, all the time. No, the, the media made it seem like the Rumble and Palace was just black people running wild attacking others. And I get your angle from it, Joyke, but. No, 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 you don't get my angle from it. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you do not. I'm just saying. You know where that crossed the angle. line, though? Yeah, it, the fans, you can't do that. You can't. All can't right, what, ab what about with the two teams are fighting right before the coin toss. Go for it. Let's go. You know, and then they, and then they suspend all these Will players. Willing combatants? Will it? Now, if you jump a guy, no. that's something different. No, but they suspended like a lot of guys off the team for throwing a punch. They suspending guys. That's not the way the game is played. But that's only in, in, well, in the football. A, see, why why it, is that in a... it? Well, it changed. It changed in the NHL in 1987. And I told Easy to look this up last night. There was a brawl before a game. But before a game where guys were coming out, they didn't even have their jerseys on between Montreal and Philadelphia. Okay? So the officials aren't out there. And Claude Lemieux was in the middle of it. Yeah, that Claude Lemieux. And these guys did battle for 10 minutes, a half hour before the game started. So there's no officials out there. Guys are half dressed in their equipment. Guys don't have their jerseys on. Chris Nyland came out in a T-shirt. He didn't even have his pads on. Came out in a T-shirt. He's fighting the tough guy from Philly in his, in his freaking T-shirt, right? So what the NHL did after that, now there's no more bench-clearing brawls in the NHL. You can see things like that, but you're never going to see a bench-clearing brawl. And you know how they did that? Tell me if this sounds familiar. Joyk, if you're the first guy to jump off the bench, we're giving you a 10-game suspension and a $100,000 fine. But wait, there's more. Art, are you his head coach? You're also getting suspended and a $100,000 fine. The guy's in a pocketbook. They don't want anything to do with that. Mm -hmm. So not only do you get the $100,000 fine, but you have the 10-game suspension. As you all well know, you're not paid during that suspension. You don't see bench-clearing brawls anymore. Hey, but That's you, how they got rid of bench-clearing brawls. Hey, you Can got, we, got a bunch of games, though. I feel like this game had a little bit of everything, including this great moment from Oshi with the hat trick. Oh, it was phenomenal. And to me, it's the thing that we're not talking about you know, everyone wants to talk about the fight, but this really was one of the greatest hockey matches of all time, in my opinion. He, MSG, you've got fights, you've got OCU's dad just passed away from Alzheimer's, and he gets the hat trick, and here's his uh, emotions right here after. It's just such a beautiful moment after people scrapping, you know? It's just, it, hockey's great, man. You should, you should have seen his teammates around him on the ice when he scored that goal, too, how they mauled him, how special that was to get a hat mm. trick. Uh, the day after his father passed away. I mean, that's just a beautiful thing. Yeah. Just an absolutely beautiful thing. So, of course it's... yeah, no doubt. It All right, are we ready it. to get out of here yet? Today's been a very contentious day. It's, it's my heart. It was a good day. <laughs> it was a good I messed day. around and got a triple-double. <laughs> I messed around and got a triple <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how proud I was? Yeah. But like I said, man, I'm, nice not, I'm not doing no fucking promotion. Yes, you, Troy. We'll <laughs> talk about it off air. I'm not doing this Bye with guys. you. Bye, guys. See it. you tomorrow. Gang, gang. I'm going to go headbutt gang, something. Gang.